Barney? You're alive! Oh, Bar! Nick, is that really you? <laughs> Barney, what are you doing here? You should be resting in the infirmary. I know, but it feels great, Professor. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel better than ever. I can't believe it. Professor, how is this possible? That's what we're still trying to determine, but the hope is that studying Barney's blood will help us understand the virus further and help us lead us to a cure. You know, all this talk is just makes me hungry. You want to go get some food, Nick? Sure. We have a lot of catching up to do. Take care, you two, and make sure he takes it easy, Nick. We still don't know exactly what happened to him. So then, Nick, I told him, Hey, you've been typing in caps the whole time! <laughs> and that's how Stephen's Hawking chair broke. Oh, Barney, that... I feel like you need to work on your joke telling. It's just... It's not quite there yet. I don't know if it's the accent or the timing. Just... I don't know, man. That was a pretty funny joke. I think that your senses of humor is ruined. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think that's the case. But anyway, come on. I'm hungry. I want to grab something to eat. Besides, oh, yeah, you probably haven't met a lot of the people that have, well, that have joined the group since you've been gone. Yeah, oh, I haven't really Nick. been seeing any. Speaking oh. of one right here. Get off! Look, Get off! Oh, Barney! <laughs> oh my god, Barney, it's you! <laughs> oh, hi, how you doing, man? Oh my god, is this good to see you, bro? Oh, man, it's so good to see you. Get off. You're, oh, you're Scott yeah. Peaches! Yup, yup, yup. Well, I see oh, they know each other. You're Scott Peaches, get off! Yeah. I was coming, get off! Oh, <laughs> all right. I guess we were I heading to the kitchen see anyway. Each other. Yeah, Barney. Well, we've gone back a long way with Barney. Not Barney. as far as you though, Major Gray. Look at this, yeah. Barney. Look at all. Look at all. Look at all of them. Look how much I have, Barney. Oh, how did you get so many pitches? Hey, I've I've been hoarding. I've been hoarding. Oh, hey man, these are for Barney, what? Nick. <sighs> Nick, don't touch my pitches. All right, all right, fine. I'll just keep one. But you know. Ghetto, I'll trade you this peaches back if you give me a, you know, just maybe just one marshmallow, not the whole thing. Oh my thing. goodness. Look, I'm... Barney, he's been harassing me about marshmallows this whole time. Yeah, I know Nick, he loves these marshmallows. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you have marshmallows, it'd be a shame not to share them. But look, I, Barney, you need to meet Major Gray. He's really the head of everything here at the CDC. He's kept us safe and he's done us a lot of favors, so yeah. you can trust Glad him. Glad to meet you, Barney. There's a head honcho around you. here? I am. Oh, man. I'm Barney, and uh, I'm back. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I uh, heard from Professor X that he had possibly found a cure, but I'm glad to see that it worked. Oh, it's me too. I'm like back at 100%. Yeah, I, yeah uh, man. You look really good, man. <laughs> Thanks, so Glad well, to see you back, man. Well, we're unions but, uh, aside, I think, Nick, we kind of need you for something. Oh? What's that? Uh, well, the, myself, the general, Ghetto, and you, if you come and help us, we're having a, uh, a leaders meeting in the cafeteria to discuss oh. the future of the CDC. Yeah, I think that's definitely for the best. There are some things that I want to bring up as well. All right, let's head off. Is it right now? Yeah, well, if you're ready for it. Yeah. Sure. If you need time to, you know, eat. Uh, I was kind of hungry, but, you know, Ghetto, if you... Would you just give me maybe a can for the road? All right, I got gotcha. you. I'll give you two. All right, okay. I'm ready for the meeting. Let's go. Hey, so I can join you guys. Oh. Um, well, Barney, look, I mean... I mean, you did just get cured. I think yep. you need your rest. Um, and all right, you know, don't worry, I don't it's know. It's for what, the best. Yeah, and Barney, a good idea. Besides that, there's a lot more that's happened. A lot more than just goat, and well, to be honest, I think Major Gray is right. You should sit this one out, let us handle this, and then we'll catch you up for the next one. Okay, if your guys needs me, you know, you knows where I am. All right, and remember, try and ration those peaches. 
I know you've been a walker for a while, but that doesn't mean you can peg out on everything. It's ghetto. You have to eat as many as you want, man. Trust me, I have plenty, <laughs> all right? I'll get cool, cool. Okay, okay. All right, come all on, right, ghetto. I'll see you guys later. Later, Barney. Bye, guys. Along you two. All right. Oh, General. Oh, hey guys. I'm done. General, excuse What's me. What's going on, General? Oh, all right. Hey, all right. Go through, Major. Uh, doing all right. Go. Uh, how you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Uh, sorry, Thank I'm you. late, everybody. I didn't even realize we were having this meeting today. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and get it underway. I'll start by stating the obvious. Thanks to Red's men helping us patrol around these walls and through the halls itself. We have quadrupled in size of our force, as well as patrols around the CDC. I feel like we are relatively safe now compared to just a week ago. Well, I mean, as long as we got enough food to feed them, I think we should be all right. Um, Nick, we should. How, how is the food supply going? Is it all right? Um, yeah, last I checked, I, I think it's going all right. I mean, we have... Oh quite a bit of food we collected from Red's base as well, so yeah. that should hold us over until we can get some sort of agriculture or crop system going. Yeah, we yeah. got a lot of peaches. We need some more, but because we're running low, but I mean, I still got some right here. Wait, <laughs> wait, can I have one of those? You know, you always asking for, you know, I'm just glad there ain't marshmallows here. Take the peach. Take the can. Well, I mean, if you have marshmallows, that'd be great too, but besides that, what else do we have on the agenda, guys? I know we... We've definitely gone through some changes. Is everyone still clear about their roles? Uh, yeah, definitely, much, but yeah. Yeah. My real well, question is, what do we yeah. do now? Well, yeah, Nick. I think the main what? thing is keeping everybody safe. The CDC should be our number one objective, no matter what. That's going to be tough because we are going to have to send out supply runs to get, well, food, medicine, supplies, weaponry. We're not going to be able to hold out here forever, but for now, I don't think that might not be a bad plan. What Definitely. About... I think Tommy can help lead some by runs. Definitely. Well, Red's, Red's men better than the rest of us, so. Well, what about power? Like, you know, surely we need to get some more energy to this place because we can't uh, just run itself. Don't worry. We've got some backup generators. We just need to look for more fuel supplies. Right. Okay. Well, I we got should, a question we that we'd all kind of want to know. What, what's going on with Ross? Oh, yeah. That's just yeah. it. He vanished without a trace. Everything from his notes to his research, it was gone by the time that we had turned on Red. I don't know exactly how, but I feel like he must have gotten tipped off to the fact that Red's men were going to mutiny. As far as I'm concerned, oh. Ross is still out there, but until he shows himself, I don't think we should waste any resources hunting him. At least I the agree. CDC shouldn't waste any resources. Yeah. What do you mean by that, Nick? Well, that's actually something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. I've made a decision. After hunting Red for so long and finally getting my revenge, I still feel empty and... Well, long story short, I don't think I'm in the right mindset to lead this group. I think it's best if I step down as leader of the CDC and let someone else take over control. Whoever that might be. Really? Are you, are you sure about, about this? Well, I have been doing a lot of thinking, Ghetto, and it's been a long time coming. This mindset that I'm in, it's not good, and it's not going to lead to good things for this group. It's better for everybody, myself included, if someone else leads. Well, if what that's you, something you, you feel you have to do, Nick, I'll I'll support you 100%, you know? Me as well. Yeah. Same here, man. Thanks, so guys. I think, I think that means do. we should start thinking about voting on a new leader here. But that's something for another time. Wow, Major. I was just about to say the same thing, but you had to jump the gun, didn't you, Major? Huh? Uh, look, guys, settle down. Look, I'm going to go quickly say goodbye to Shelby, but after that... I think I'm going to go take some time and, well, I think I'm going to go off on my own for a little bit. I just, something about this place, there's too many memories here. I just need to get away. 
clear my head. Phoenix, before you leave, make sure to stock up on supplies. You can take what you need. Thank you, Major. And listen, I know this is probably a little bit unorthodox, but don't send anybody after me. I couldn't bear to live with myself if I knew that I was taking even one person off of protecting the CDC and all the work we're doing here. It's my choice Whatever to go off say. on my own. Please respect Whatever that. Whatever you say. We'll right. I'll make sure we're that just... they won't come after you, Nick. Thanks, guys. Yeah, right. just, just, just make sure you're safe, all right? I will. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys again. Just take care of yourself. See you, man. Oh, Professor X. Must be running some tests. Wait, Professor! Your head! Oh. Nick! Put huh? your put your helmet back on. Oh no! Don't worry, Nick. It's fine. Just come on in. What? Nick, stop holding your breath. It's not contagious. <sighs> it's, what? <sighs> Look, Nick? come on. <sighs> Be a friend. Nick, it's not contagious. The medicine. That means it's working, right? Well, it's it's hard to explain, really. Look, the medicine will work for now. But we don't have a lot of time. I think it could work between two to three weeks, but... So it's just like that, Formula X. Without more doses, it's pretty much useless. Exactly, Nick. <sighs> Alright, well, look, I just came to say goodbye to Shelby. I, I didn't realize you guys are going to be in the middle of some tests. I, oh, no, no, don't I worry, should just Nick. Go. I, took what I, I took what I needed. Look, I'll, I'm just going to go run some tests. Um, good seeing you, Nick. Okay. Good seeing you, Bye. Professor. Did well, you say you were leaving? Yeah, I, that's what I wanted to come talk to you about. But now you, that I, you just got back. Where are you going? Well, to be honest, Shelby, I'm I'm stepping down as leader of the group. What? I just, I don't think that I should be leading in the frame of mind that I am right now. I'm, I'm not thinking straight. I thought that, well, I thought that I would feel better. I would feel something after taking Red out, but I just feel worse than before. And now, with the news that Professor X told me, I mean, you need more medicine, more of a cure, and we've already raided all the hospitals around the area, so I'm going to leave, and I'm not going to come back until I find something to help you. But where are you going to go? You can't go off on your own. That's too dangerous. It's fine. I, I can survive on my own, and besides... It's better if the people that are here stay here. There's a group here, and just because I'm not the one to lead it doesn't mean it still can't do good. That means you, Shelby. I I don't want you to follow me this time. I want you to stay here and try and do what's good for the group. I'm supposed to just let you run off, and you're going to get yourself killed out there. Well, maybe, but we live in a dangerous world. There are risks we have to take, and there are some things I'm just not willing to sacrifice. I understand. But stay alive out there. You better come back. I will, and trust me, I'm going to find a cure for you, Shelby, even if I have to track Ross down myself. Take care All of right. yourself, Shelby. Stay with yeah. the group, and just take care of yourself. I'll be here. And the... Uh, Nick? Yeah? Um, never mind. Be safe. Okay, you too. Okay, just gotta get outside the city before nightfall and... Wait. <coughs> huh? What is that? Another walker horde? Jeez, oh, there's no guards. Wait, that's not okay. Oh. <laughs> Why? Nick. You scared the crap out of me. I almost shot you. Walls, walls, hold on, man. That's going too far. Yeah, I know. You've been shot enough for one person. What hey, are you doing out me? here? Well, you know, I'm getting kind of bored, so I just want to come out here and plays around. Oh, well, I get that you're bored, Barney, but you really shouldn't be outside the walls. The CDC is safe. 
if you come outside, walkers, anyone could get to you. Well, I mean, I know it's safe in there, but it's also boring in there. And next, I don't know that many people. I don't really have anyone that hangs out with. I mean, and what's with Goat being gone? Yes, I really just don't have anyone that hangs out with. That's just not true, Barney. There's plenty of people in the CDC who care about you. Shark, Ghetto, and look, even the people who didn't know you before you turned, they've risked a lot to make you, well, to make you better again, to save you. No, yeah, I'm sure, and I'm thankful to all of them, but I mean, so much has changed, man. It's a lot for me to taking in. Uh, I definitely understand that, and you know, with everything that's gone on, it's that's really what made, well, that's what drove me to make my decision too, and. I guess I can't really blame you for feeling that way. What's the decision? Oh, I... Jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry, Barney. I, I didn't realize you hadn't heard this either. Well, at the meeting today, I told the others that I was going to be stepping down as leader of the group. I just, what? Well, I just think that my current state of mind and the way I've been feeling, it just wouldn't be the best thing for the group if I was in charge. But next, yours has always been the leader. I can't think straight right now. And besides, there's something else I have to do. The doctors say, they say the medicine we got Shelby, it only keep her safe, keep her healthy for a few weeks at most. After that, they have no idea what'll happen. If she'll get well, worse. Who's this Shelby's? She's, well, I guess you haven't met her yet, but she's someone who means a lot to me. And well, I can't just sit around and wait for her to get sicker. I have to do something, even if it means going off on my own. I well, can't ask no, hold on. Else. Hold on, hold on. If she means a lot to you, then she means a lot to me as well. So I'll go with you. Wait, Barney, no, you can't come with me. Look, I didn't want anyone to come with me because I couldn't ask anyone else to risk their life. And besides, you've just gotten better. You must be feeling a little bit sick or tired. Or... Nose, 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 nose. I already risked my life. <laughs> So it's all good. I already did that. Anyways, Nyx, I don't really know that many people here. I mean, I don't know sharks and ghettos, but I mean, I, can I just come with you, please, Nick? Please. All right, Barney. Look, you've always got a place by my side, and I'd be silly to turn you away, especially going off on my own like this. You can come. <laughs> Let's go save the Shelby's. <laughs> I've got an extra gun in my bag. Let's try and make it outside the city before nightfall. Yeah, sounds like a plan, man. All right, follow me. And stay quiet. There's a lot of all walkers right. in the city. All right, all right. Oh, Next. watch out, Barney. Yeah, you see him too? Yeah, walkers ahead. All right, well, I think I have a clear shot, but I don't know. I don't want to risk attracting more. Why don't we try yes. and go hands-on? Yeah, I got an X. I'm just distracting him. Okay, okay, yeah, you hide on, along the trees. Hold on. All right. Well, I think it sees us. Yeah, oh, jeez. Yeah, All right, Barney. All right, here I come, here I come. Oh. Those walkers down! Whew. All right. <laughs> Pretty good job, Barney. You know, this reminds me of the old days when we're walking through the forest, you know. Uh, means we don't have scope, but still it's me and you. Yeah, and you're not as rusty as I thought you'd be. I mean... You know, maybe <laughs> being a walker somehow taught you to think like them. I'm just Either like way, some brand new. <laughs> With the <sighs> extras addition of I used to be a walker. I used to be one of them. Yeah. All well, right. Hey, you know, I've been wondering, like, why we're just going through the forest? Why don't we just goes on the road? Well, I figured it might be quicker to cut through instead of following the roads. You never know what kind of blockades you're gonna run into. And besides, there should be much less walker activity in the woods. They tend to clump up around cities, urban areas, wherever there's mm -hmm. noise or food to attract them. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing is that when we're going through the woods, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, all I've got is this axe. And if I was going to have a gun, then I would feel a lot more comfortable with going through the trees. You know, all these different corners. It's a well, little dangerous. I've only got my rifle, but here, I guess you can have my sidearm. Here, take this. And... Are you sure? Yeah, no, I'm not going to use it. Take that ammo okay. too, you're gonna need it. Once we get to a city or a town, we'll have to make some sort of looting trip and try and find you some sort of rifle or anything better than a pistol. 
But oh, for now, thanks, man. that should yeah, make no, it. This will do is perfect for now. Okay, well, you know, we should keep moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover before nightfall, and we still have to figure out where we're going to make camp. Okay, so you lead. You lead. I'll stay right behind you. All right, watch my back. Be careful, Barney. We don't know what's in these woods. Oh, don't worry. I'm on my toes. All right. It's getting pretty dark. I don't like moving through the woods at night, so we should probably figure out some place to make camp. Yeah, I just didn't see a very open place for us to really see. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Nick, look. What? Is there someone there? Gets ready. Gets ready. I don't know. But it looks like someone was setting us up camp here before. Oh, jeez. Yeah, look. That tent. It blends right in. I didn't even notice it. There's some chests here. I'm going to check it out. All right. Well, be careful, Barney. We don't know whose camp this is. There's got food supplies. Oh, it's perfect. What? How much food? Takes a look. Huh. What's in here? A couple of medical supplies? Oh, some medical supplies in there. Well, here, you know what? I'm going to start a fire. Okay. Looks like the fire hasn't been going for a while, so maybe this camp is abandoned. Yeah, I mean, everything's was jumbled up in there. They probably just left in a hurry. Well, I guess we can spend the night here. It looks fairly overgrown, so even if someone's coming back, chances are we can at least spend the night. So, Nix, where are we going to get this medical supplies? Well, anywhere we can, really. Every hospital in the city's either been looted by us or bandits, so there's just no sense in looking around where we were in Atlanta. Anything's new? Any place new? Any place that will have antibiotics, medical supplies, uh, infusion kits, any sort of and chemicals that Professor X or Dr. Jin can work on. And this all's for Shelby? Well, this must be really important. Yeah, yeah, she is. And, well, I just want to make sure that she's alright. The doctor said that, well... He said she's fine for now, but that the medicine might wear off, so we need more, basically more of the same stuff that we found. Is she just going to turn into a walker just like I did? Well, that's what we don't know. She was with Ross, and well, we just don't know what Ross did to her. She doesn't even remember oh, half wow. of her time there. After oh. all that Ross has done, I can't imagine that he gave her the common cold. Yeah, no, that's a bad guy. There's no good to come from that guy. Well, uh, I guess we could start cooking dinner. I've got some peaches here we could try and eat. Or we could try and cook up something from the chest. I think I saw some noodles. Those would be good over the fire. Yeah, here. Let, you know what, Nick? Why don't you, with us going all day long, why don't you steps inside, takes a little rest, I'll make some meal, and I'll stays on the lookout. Uh, are you sure, Barney? I can stay oh, awake. Yes, it's, yes. it's not really nighttime yet. No, because you're gonna need the rest, because eventually I'm gonna need the rest too, and then yours gotta watch out for me. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, you take first shift, and I'll wake up when the when the food's ready. All right, all right. Thanks, Barney. You knows it, Nick. Oh. What smells so good? Oh, Nick, that's dinner. Sorry, I didn't waste you up, man. It's it's been really quiet out here. I didn't really, I didn't, I thought you could use the sleep, so I just like to sleep. Oh, here's your cups of noodle. Oh, perfect. You know, it's not marshmallows, but I guess it'll have to do. Yeah, we're all out of marshmallows. I checked in the uh, this little chest over there. I didn't have marshmallows, but I knew you were wanting some. Well, the only person I know that has marshmallows is Ghetto, and he still won't share them with me. <laughs> But next, guess what? What? I took this some of Skittles peaches too. <laughs> I have a couple of cans right in here, Yours Barney. Did too? <laughs> oh man. He's gonna be angry with us. Well, you know what he doesn't know won't hurt him. And besides, they're probably worried about running the CDC back there. He's not gonna miss a few cans. He has yeah, he plenty. Yeah, he a few peaches. He needs to share some more anyways. He got all the marshmallows, not sharing to anybody's. So I feel like I've been sleeping for a while. How long was I out, Barney? 
Eh, you know, a few hours, probably three or four hours. Huh? Well, Did you hear that? Barely. What was that? I don't know. It, it sounded like someone was walking. You haven't seen any walkers, have you? No, it's been really quiet out here, man. Yeah, I haven't heard anything, seen any walkers or anything. You know, actually, most of the time, I was just been reminiscing on those times we had together. I remember, Nick, when I first met you, your guys were just freeloadings in my cabin. <laughs> and your guys arrested me. <laughs> well, we didn't know it was your cabin, Barney, but yeah, I agree. Thinking about how far we've come, I mean, just putting aside the fact that you've become a walker, just the fact that we've gone to the CDC and helped all those people really does put things happened. in perspective. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. We Wait. went from your guys preloading to my shh, house. Shh, shh. There it is again. I swear I heard it this time. It sounds like it's getting closer. Are you sure? Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. I, I gotta say, I, I haven't slept that good in, well, in days. Something, something about the CDC. I just couldn't get a good night's sleep there after I came back. Not with Shelby, the way she is. Well, you know, we've got to stay strong on this trip, man. We've got to do this. I never met Shelby, but she's really important to you. So let's make sure that we stay safe. I don't really hearing that, but well, it's... can I take? Can yours take the shift now? You know, yeah, I, I'm a little bit tired. It's probably just in my head. We're probably safe. I mean, if we put this fire out, we should probably be okay to just both of us take a couple quick hours of sleep. I mean, yeah, I think so. I'm a light sleeper, and besides, we haven't seen one walker besides those few that we saw in the woods earlier yesterday. Yeah, and that was far as away from here. All right, why don't we put the why don't we put the fire out, and we'll both get some sleep, and we'll start fresh at sunrise. Sounds good. All right. Huh? Wake up, man! Oh! The fire spread! I thought I put it out, Nick! I'm so sorry it spread! The whole camp is on fire! It's alright, Barney. Just just look. Just... Uh... uh grab some grab water. water! Grab water! We can put it out! We can put it out! Is there any water in the chest? I've only got canteens! Uh, alright, look. Let's just get out of here. If walkers aren't already on their way, they definitely smell the fire, and they can probably see it, too. We need to just get out of here the way we came. No! Alright! You're right! <coughs> The way we came is on fire. Let's, let's go this way. All right. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm right behind you, Barney. Just, just keep going. I'm right behind Let's you. Run out. Oh, just keep going. Stay on your toes, Nick. Stay on your toes. Okay? All right. No. Oh, Barney. No. Just, just stay there. I'm, I'm gonna come down there. Hurry, hurry. Oh, jeez. I'm not a good swimmer, Nick. Hold on, Barney. Hold on. I'm coming to get you. Here, grab my hand. Grab my arm. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach. Come on, Barney. Do it. Oh, stretch. Do rope, throw something. I don't have a rope. Just just stretch. Oh. Barney, s swim to the edge. Swim to the edge. Oh. Hang on. I'm, I'm coming I'm in after swimmer. you. I'm coming. Oh, oh Nick, I missed it. I'm coming in. Just grab something. Oh. The car is too strong. No, Nick. Barney. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> Barney! Oh my goodness. That must have been over a hundred feet. And he just plummeted right there and there's barely a scratch on him. Can you believe that? It's incredible he's still breathing at all. Yeah. Hey, you, uh, you got me water for him? I bet he's yeah, yeah. thirsty. Hey, buddy. You awake? You alive, man? Uh? Oh. Who, who are you guys? Barney? Uh? Oh, yeah. My, must have been your friend. Yeah. You know, he fell from you, but, uh, fell right alongside with you, but I don't think he was as lucky. He had about a, maybe it was a broken leg or something like that, but we took him back to our camp. We're taking good care of him. Your camp? I don't, I don't understand. Who are you guys? You want to do the explaining? All right, that's fine. 
Hey there, I'm Monroe. This here's my friend Elliot. Howdy. You and your friend Barney, was it? You guys took a real big spill down that waterfall there, washed up ashore next to our camp. Well, I... I guess that makes sense, but... Where is he? I just wanna... Ah! Hey, oh, take whoa, whoa. it easy. Calm take down. Take it easy there. You're hurt. Oh, Here, have a sip of my canteen. Drink that water You'll down. be okay. We're not gonna hurt you. We know what this world is like. And I understand if you're hardened from it, but... Would well, we really be giving you our water if we were up to anything? No offense. Elliot, was it? Yeah. I'd just Elliot. like to see my friend now. I... I came in with him, and besides, I don't know you guys from anybody, really. And I, I don't know where all my stuff went. I guess it's probably at the bottom of that lake. Yeah. And you know, seems like you don't have the best of luck with water, so... Maybe now just focus on your health and we'll figure out your stuff later. How does that sound? Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Alright, thank you guys. I assume you guys are the ones who saved me. That would be correct. Well, it wasn't just me. Ain't that right? Yeah, it was nothing. Well, Mostly we just found you washed up on the lakeside. But please, if you could, don't do it again. Well, trust me, the way I feel now, I don't think I'm going to be spending any time around waterfalls in the near future. Yeah, or water, for that matter. Well... Elliot, was it? I'd really like to right. see my friend Barney. I just want to make sure he's alright. We've been through a lot together, and... Well, it's, I can't really explain it now, but... I just want to make sure he's alright. You want to take the lead on this one? Yeah, sure. No You've problem. You've always been better at navigating than me. Oh, come on. This lake isn't that far away from our camp. Well, <sighs> let's be realistic here. I'd say we're... A little better than navigating than this guy, so we'll be back yeah. in no time. Can you walk? Are you okay? You seem yeah. a little... I'll, I'm fine. I'll make it. Let's just go. Not gonna leave you here alone. Alright, let's go see your friend. Camp's just around the corner, fellas. Right here. Wow, you guys weren't kidding. You put this up all yourselves? It Correct. Wasn't, it wasn't just us, right? I mean, we've had the help of everyone else in the camp, too. Yeah, sometimes we like to take credit for it, though, but, you know, we got a, well, we got a whole team of people in here. Wow, I, I guess you guys weren't kidding. Well, what about the gate? I mean, the fence looks amazing, but why is the gate just wide open? Well, we keep it open in the daytime, and when nighttime falls, just to be safe, we'll close it. But you don't even have any guards. What if someone were to come up and just walk right in? Well, when it comes to things like bandits and walkers, you know, things like that, they kind of go without incident around here. Doesn't happen much. Really? I... I can't believe that. Wow. Well, I just... am thankful that you guys saved me from that waterfall. That... that fall was... Well, it was something else. It knocked me clean unconscious. Speaking of which, could I see my friend now? I really just want to make sure that Barney's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he's in our medical facility now, if you'd like to see him. Yeah, yeah. that would be wait, great. Wait, wait, hold, hold on a sec. Don't, Elliot, don't you think that, uh, Nick should talk to Mousy first? I mean, you know how she gets with outsiders. Yeah, yeah, I'd say that's a fair assessment. So how about this? I'll go take a look at your friend, and then after you meet our Mousy, we can meet up. Uh, okay. Who's this Mousy? She's basically our leader in chief. Uh, okay. She takes care of everything around here. Well, if yeah, I have she... to meet her before I can see Barney, that's fine. But after that, I really would like to see him. I'm, I'm just worried about him is all. We're taking good care of him. I promise. All right. Well, where is Mousy? Where do I go? Just follow me. It's right this way. And uh, Elliot, go look after Barney, okay? Sure thing. All right. All right, the sleeping cabin's right here. You can just stick around in here and wait for Mousy. She'll come around soon enough. Thanks. You and Elliot, huh? It seems like you guys are a pretty good pair. Yeah, I mean... I mean, we've been assigned to be partners, right? 
We all got our own jobs here in the compound, and uh, it's safer and more efficient that way. Hmm. That's amazing. I've, well, never run into a group that has that level of organization. At least, not a group like you guys. I mean, I, I take it it's not as good outside? Well, not really. No, actually, not at all. Unless you find, well, a good group of people to survive with. It's not nearly as good as you guys have it here. Well, in any case, you're safe with us, Nick. Uh, speaking of which, I got a job to do to keep us all safe still. Gotta fix the generator. Oh, but, wait, uh, stick- you're gonna leave me here? Yeah, it, it shouldn't be a big deal. Mousey, Mousey will greet you and... Yeah, we'll, we'll meet again soon enough, alright, Nick? Right now, I got a job to do. Alright, Munro. Thanks again. I'll just wait here for Mousy, I guess. Yeah, see you later. Huh? Hi! Oh, you look like you're about to jump out of your skin. Don't worry, you're you're good. You 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 look a little bit hungry as well. You okay? Uh, How are you doing? I I'm fine. I just I'd really like to see my friend now. I'm I'm just a little bit confused about where I am or uh, or who you are we'll, even. We'll, ex we'll explain in a quick second. Hold on, one thing at a time. Are, are you hungry or anything? Do you need a little a little snack time? Anything like that? Uh. Yeah, yeah, how I about, guess I am. Yeah. Thank you. Let's just, here, have some water as well. I've got more if you need it. Just let me know, okay? Okay. All right. Who, who are you? I'm, I'm sorry to be so rude, but at all these new people, where am I? Don't worry, don't worry. My name is Mousy. This, I am the leader of this camp. Uh, you feeling a little bit better now you eating that? Yeah, I'm just, I feel fine. I'm just sore. Well, I'm sure you are. You took quite a tumble off that fall. Yeah, I, to be honest, my friend Barney, he just fell in and I, I didn't even think I jumped in after him. I didn't know the river was leading to a waterfall. Oh, man. Well, that must, that's pretty brave of you. You must be pretty proud of yourself. But it, just, just so I can make sure, you're not like, you don't have any broken bones or anything that we need to take care of? Any, you need any bandages or anything like that? Everything's no, okay? No, I'm fine, but... I'm sorry, I, I just don't understand. You don't know me. Why are you helping me? Well, why wouldn't we help you? I mean... It seems kind of silly to just leave someone out in the cold. Well, Especially her, your friend is, uh... He, he, he's okay, but... He, the medics are working with him right now. Wait, medics? What happened? Are, are you sure he's alright? Um, well, let's just say he's not gonna be walking all that time soon anytime soon it's just he he broke his leg in that fall and uh they're they're trying to patch him up right now he's gonna be okay but getting him back on his feet's probably gonna be interesting <laughs> mousy i i can't thank you enough for saving us i mean i lost all of my equipment in the waterfall and even if i did somehow manage to get us both to shore i'm sure we would have been goners out in the woods all alone like that Oh yeah, probably you would have died, but no worries about that. We have plenty of supplies that we can uh, lend to you, and more food here. Just keep eating. You want to keep your uh, your health up, and you want to make sure that. So this group, this camp that you have, this has just been here since, well, since the beginning. Um, yeah, it's it's been here since the beginning of, you know, this whole. Yeah. Disaster. You know what it, you know how it is. Um, but uh, we we're peaceful here. We don't we don't really go out much, and we don't try and like fight anyone or anything like that. We just we just kind of keep to ourselves for the most part. Um, yeah, that that's enough about me. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, we have our own farm here. We have fresh water. We have uh, everything we need to survive. So we we get by. We get by. And you're peaceful, but that doesn't make any sense. What do you do if raiders come, or, or worse? I mean, we haven't had to deal with that problem too much, so I mean, I guess we can cross that bridge when we get there. But um, I, we're prepared to fight if we absolutely have to. It's just we try very hard not to. Um, I guess I yeah. can understand that. Well, look, Mousy, I. 
I really am thankful that you're letting us stay here, and, and anything I can do to make, well, to make it a little bit more worthwhile. We're skilled people, hunters, well, we could even help build or do work, farm work even, whatever you need. I just, I can't believe that you're being so hospitable to us. It's, it's a little bit out of the norm for me. <laughs> you must not have been to any other peaceful camps, I'm guessing. Actually, on that topic, um, what did you say your name was again? Nick. Nick. And Nick. My friend's name is Barney. Okay, good, good. That's just one more thing. Where exactly did you come from? Well, I've come from a lot of places, but where we were coming from was Atlanta. And that's actually where we're heading back to after we, well, All right. after we get what we need. Okay. All right. And um, just so we have this established, you are peaceful, right? You're not going to attack anyone here? Because you, you kind of mentioned that you hadn't come across any other peaceful groups, so I'm a little bit worried. Well, I need to know. Look, I'm not going to tell you that I'm a saint. I've, okay. I've killed people. And walkers too. But not because I wanted to, because I had to. To protect the people that I loved. And, well, I've met people that are worse than me. Worse than you or I could even imagine. And, well, I like to think of myself as sort of a good guy. Even though I haven't really felt that way lately. Alright. You know what? I, I, think, I think you are good. Don't worry. Uh, just just to make sure that you know, just remember, keep it in mind, we are a peaceful camp. And if I do find out you're causing any ruckus, we're going to have some issues, all right? Uh, yeah, of course, Mousy. Anything right. that you need from me, please let me know. I, I know I keep saying it, but I, I can't thank you enough. Barney and I have been through a lot, and, well, when I saw him go over that waterfall, just, well, it's better not to think about that. Yeah, don't 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 dwell too much on the past. Don't worry about it. But uh, before I go, actually, um, and get Monroe and stuff, just one more thing. Did you happen to see anything strange out there? Just anything strange? Uh, no. Well, aside from last night, not really. We thought we put our fire out, but when we woke up. Our entire campsite was on fire. Just. It just didn't seem... Uh, I don't know. It was all huh. happening so quickly. Right. Interesting. Um... Hmm. Alright, well... Uh, it, it was probably nothing. You probably left the fire on. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go get Monroe. Show you to Barney. And, uh, you know, welcome to the camp. We don't really have a name for it here, but, um... Yeah. Thank I, you, Mousy. Good. For everything. It's no problem. Bye. Oh, Monroe. Hey, Nick. Yeah, let's go get your friend. All right, the medical cabin's just over here. Wow, you guys sure are lucky. Not many groups I've met on the outside have been lucky enough to have medical supplies, let alone a doctor to use them. Well, Mousy's a good leader. She just happened to find the right people at the right time, and, well, we all got to work, I guess. Well, speaking of that, uh, do you think I could see my friend Barney? I'm, I'm just, I'm really nervous about him. I, I've been through a lot with him. I just want to make sure he's all right. Yeah, sure. And you'll meet our doctor, too. Her name is Dr. Cassandra. Uh, she's been taking care of Barney real good. Hey, Cassandra? You in there? Cassandra? Huh. Door's locked. Doesn't seem like anyone's inside. Well, except for Barney, of course. Well, Cassandra, does she usually leave? I mean, it seems pretty odd that the door would be locked. Yeah, it is kind of odd, but, uh, she has her reasons. I don't think anything's wrong, particularly. I think I can see Barney inside the window there. Well... Ev everything's alright, Nick, rest assured. I okay. Well, can you just have Cassandra come and find me as soon as she can? I mean... I just want to check up on Barney and make sure he's doing all right. 
Yeah, I get where you're coming from, Nick. You want to see your friend. But, uh, in the meantime, you know, while you're waiting for Cassandra to come back, how about you take a look around the camp a little bit? Well, I guess I could do that. It is really impressive what you guys have managed to build here. I mean, this level of cooperation, especially after what happened, it's just... It's rare, and, well, you guys should be proud of that. Oh, believe us. Well, believe me, we're pretty proud. Well, in any case, you really look like you need to take it easy, so, uh, just relax a little bit. I'll go find Cassandra, and, uh, you know, you'll see your friend in no time. Alright, well, thanks, Monroe. I'm gonna yes. go check out, well, the rest of this camp and see who I can meet. Alright, well, I'll see you later, Nick. Oh, hey! There you are. I was looking all over for you. Huh? How are you, man? Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Have we met? Oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. The name's Doug. I'm the one who found you and your friend washed up on that lake there. Oh, well, Doug, it's, it's nice to meet you. I don't remember much about that. Do you mind telling me what happened? Well, I was just walking around, you know, bored as usual, and then I just found you guys just washed up on the lakeside. Your friend looked like he was really, really hurt, so I just carried him myself back to the medical cabin. And as for you, I... I mean, you seemed relatively okay, so I just called down Monroe and Elliot, and... Well, I guess they took care of you all right. Yeah, yeah, they did. Monroe and Elliot have both been, you know, great. They gave me water. Mousy, actually. I guess she's your leader? She seems like a really great person, too. Yeah, Mousy's a real class act. She organized this entire thing, you know. If it weren't for her, I mean, I don't know where we'd be. It's a little quiet for my taste, but you know, I guess it's better than, well, having to survive out in the wild. Yeah, well, when you've seen what I've seen, quiet isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm just so amazed that this is still possible. I mean, I would have thought camps and settlements like this died out with the apocalypse. Well, I mean, we just kind of, we, we kept it together, I guess. I don't know what else to tell you there. Well, Doug, it's, it's really nice to meet you. I'm, I'm really starting to realize that the people here are just ordinary people. It's a nice change of pace from the ones I've come across outside the fence. So the people outside are a little more violent, is what you're saying? Well, it's hard to say. The world outside, it's, well, it's not like you and me are used to. It's different. It changes people. Huh. Well, I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like I could go for some action right about now. I mean, look at these muscles. You just can't do nothing with them. Huh. <laughs> well, I will say that. If you're able to carry Barney, you definitely know how to pull your own weight. Anyway, I was just kind of wandering around. I know everyone's got their jobs to do here. I don't mean to keep you from yours. Yeah, it's no problem. I just wanted to- I just wanted to check in, you know? Yeah. See the guy who I saved. Well, thanks again, Doug, and trust me, if there's anything that I can do for you, just let me know. I like to repay my debts. Yeah, it's no problem, Nick. Just sit tight, relax. You're in good hands. Alright, well, thanks, Doug. I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, I'm sure you will. See you later. Hello again. Oh, Mousy. How are you finding the camp? It's incredible. I, well, to be <laughs> honest, I didn't think there was a place like this left in the world. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? We do have a uh, quite an interesting slice of paradise here. I guess you could call it that. Well, um, it seems like paradise, especially if you came from where I did. <laughs> Speaking of, I was wondering if I could ask you a little bit more about that. You, you said you. You killed people to protect the ones you loved. I'm wondering, just... Do you elaborate, please? I'm just, I'm just, I just need to make sure you're gonna be peaceful here. Like, I need to make sure we're well, not gonna have any issues. Because everyone here is pacifist. They don't want any more fighting. That's, that's why it's like this. So I need to make sure we're not gonna have issues. I understand, and... I understand your skepticism. I've turned people away from my group, too, and... It's tough when you don't know someone's history. I guess all I can tell you is that 
Anytime I killed someone, it was justified. Or at least, I thought it was. And the people I'm talking about, they aren't good people, Mousy. Not like you, certainly not like me. They're cannibals. Doctors who make viruses to make others sick and, well, and worse. So, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't feel like I have to justify what I've done, other than the fact that the people I loved were in danger, and I did what I had to do. Are, the, are you referring to Barney? No, there's, there's others in my group. You have a, oh, okay. Um, why aren't you with them now, then? It's just, I don't mean to be rude or anything and pry, but... No, it's, it's fine. Why were you guys even out here? We were searching, well, we were searching for medical supplies. We didn't need them for us, they were, they were for someone else. Shelby, she, she's sick, and the only way to make her better is to get the supplies to counteract what the doctor did to her, Dr. Ross, and... Oh. Well, we don't know exactly what it is that's happening to her, so we just need to find medical supplies. All the hospitals in our area of Atlanta, they were already looted or destroyed. Okay. So Barney and I set out to try and find medical supplies, although we weren't really planning on using them for ourselves. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that took a turn. We can see what we can do, and, um... Huh. We might want to see if we can, um... Mousy? Do you have any- what? Hey, Mousy, we got trouble. What's going on? <sighs> Monroe? <sighs> What's wrong? Calm down, calm down. Guys. Here, water, All right. drink. Alright, thanks. Look guys, we got trouble. Cassandra's been missing ever since- ever since she looked after Barney. What? Whoa, what? Wait, Cassandra, that's your medical expert, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about just then too. Um. Uh, where did you see her last? What's going on? Like, I don't- I don't know. Did she say anything to anyone? No, she just up and disappeared. Okay, um... Well, look, All right. maybe she wandered off or, you that's know, left not the like camp? Her. That's not like her. She's- she just doesn't do that. That's not what she does. She- Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, look, she couldn't have gotten far. Let's start a search party and we'll spread out through the woods. We can find her. Okay. Alright. Let's do that. Come on, guys. Right. Cassandra! Cassandra! Oh, man. Don't worry, Elliot. Look, maybe we should head back inside for a little bit. I mean, we have been circling the camp for a few hours now. I think if she was out here, she would have heard us. Now listen. I am haven't known you for too long, but I know you're someone nice. I know, you, I know you're a good person. But you can't tell someone not to worry. I don't care how hardened you are out in this awful, terrible world. When someone you love goes missing, have to worry. No matter what happens, it's human nature, you understand? Well, I understand, Elliot. Trust me, that's pretty much how I felt about Barney this whole time I've been here. You, exactly. You think Cassandra might have went off to get supplies for him? See, that's the thing that's been bothering me. Not so much concerned about the end of it as to where she is, it's the why. Why did she leave? Well, where did she go? Is it something that I said or something that someone else said or... Oh, Elliot, Elliot, don't worry yourself like that. Look, I'm sure Dr. Cassandra, she's just searching for maybe some sort of medicine. I mean, Barney, it's kind of why I wanted to see him. He, he's a unique case, so... Maybe something happened, and she had to run off quickly before telling everybody. Hope Look, so. I don't think going off in the woods by yourself is going to solve anything. Yeah, you're probably right. Just try to stick around the camp, alright? And... Look, I'll be back out to search with you, I just... Well, I really want to go see my friend. I still haven't seen Barney since... Since Doug pulled us both out of that... Waterfall. It wasn't just him, though. Keep in mind, though, we're, we're gonna have a search party later on, okay? So, All right, be Elliot. wide awake for this, you understand that? But don't wear yourself out. Look, I'm sure she'll be back soon, and just don't worry, all right? All right. All right, see you later, Elliot. Be around, boy. You be safe out there. You know how this world is. 
Wait, Monroe, do you hear that? Oh, what? That buzzing? Yeah, what is that? That's just the electric fence. Wait, you guys have an electric fence? You know it. Used to be a regular old fence, and then I, uh, hooked it up to the generator outside our camp, and, well, what do you know? Keeps out walkers even better. Wait, I don't understand. So, this fence is charged by a generator? That's, that's genius. Yeah, well, it was nothing. But, uh, I mean, yeah. It's my pride and joy, basically. I work on it day and night, just to make sure it keeps, you know, running. Well, doesn't the buzzing attract more walkers? It doesn't make that much noise. And besides, if any walker comes along, you know, they'll touch the fence and they'll just get fried. That's true. And I gotta be honest, Monroe, this is a very impressive perimeter. It probably keeps out bandits, too. Maybe that's why you guys haven't had any issues. Well, if that's true, then I guess I'm responsible for keeping the camp safe, then, huh? <laughs> well, well, I'd say it's impressive. I mean, Mousy's lucky to have an engineer like you. Ah, uh, it's nothing. You know, I'm just using all the knowledge we got. We all pitch in, in our own special ways. Right. Well, it's just really impressive. I mean, I've, to be honest, Monroe, I've never seen anything like it. Not since the infection, of course. Well, I mean, Nick, you must have come from some other base or some camp or something, right? Well, How did you guys protect yourselves then? We just used regular barriers, to be honest. The people I were with were more military trained, not so much the technical side like it seems you are. We didn't really have anyone who could hook up anything like this. Although, if we did, I'm sure we would be a lot safer. Yeah, well, it seems to me that uh, going military and, you know, full-on violence isn't always the way to go. Especially since, as you can see, we got a much better solution right here. I can't argue with that, to be honest with you. You know, I'd really love to see how the generator works sometime. I mean, if you're not too busy, that is. Well, I'm heading over there now to do some maintenance. You want to see it? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, let's go. So, Monroe, before all of this, you know, before the virus started spreading, what were you? I mean, it seems like you're pretty skilled with these types of things. I don't know many people who could make a fence like this. Well, Nick, before the entire thing went down, I was studying to become an electrical engineer. Really? Wow. Yeah. In fact, I was literally about to get my diploma before it all went down. Well, I guess that means you've lucked out. I mean, in a way, if you think about it, you were probably one of the most prepared people for the, well, for what the world turned into. Yeah, well, it's kind of funny how the chips fall sometimes, yeah? Well, I just, I'm really impressed with this fence, Monroe. How does it work? I mean, it seems like, I don't know, a fence this big, powered by one single generator, it just doesn't seem possible. Yeah, it was pretty tricky, but, uh, got the job done. The entire camp and I were basically scrambling around to scavenge for the right supplies. We need, it needed to be electric, right? So we needed conductive materials. You know, things like stone and wood just wouldn't cut it. it needed to be pure metal. You know how hard it is to scavenge that kind of stuff. Well, nowadays, if you can't find it, you're definitely not going to be able to make it yourself. And, you yeah, know, no kidding. It's a lot quieter back here, too. I, I barely even hear the buzzing. Not at all, actually. Wait, that's kind of weird. What do you Hold mean? Hold on, just let me... Just let me reach up here. Wait. And, Monroe, be careful. Uh, Whoa! Nah, don't worry about it, Nick. The entire thing's offline. Oh, well... That's kind of weird. I... That's... That's really strange, actually. I designed the entire thing to, you know, not completely short out if, you know, one, one part of the circuit just broke. There well, are supposed to be fail-safes or backup plans or auxiliary power. Let's go check the generator, then. I mean, you said it's just down, the, well, just along the fence, right? Yeah, all right. It's just down this way. In fact, come to think of it, the only way for the entire fence to turn off like this is if that generator's off. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's just out of fuel. I don't know. Wait, is the door usually open like that? Well, that's kind of odd. No. Well, let me see the damage. What's oh, it no. look like? Nick, the entire thing is just completely trashed. What? Just busted. 
it's one thing to you know it's one thing to have like a you know a cut wire just to be out of fuel but it's like something just smashed up the entire generator i don't know what's going on here maybe a walker got in well maybe but would a walker have left this mark right here what mark um, i don't know if this is something that you guys do but this mark on the wood it almost looks like an s well yeah it kind of does look like a symbol of some sort we don't do that kind of thing around here, Nick. I don't know. Well, either way, we should probably tell Mousy about the generator. I mean, with the generator down, it seems to me the only thing keeping this camp safe is the fence. Yeah, we better just close down the entire thing and, well, up the manpower for the night god. Alright, well, let's go. Let's try and find Mousy and we'll make sure that the perimeter is secure before we do. Yeah, good idea. There's not much to our farm here, Nick. I mean, we just basically, you know, harvest up these crops of wheat and we just collect them up in, you know, uh, bales of hay. And we just store them for later. You know, bread and whatnot. Wow, that's really incredible. This is a lot of bread here. Actually, do you mind if I take a few? I'm kind of hungry. Eh, <sighs> knock yourself out. We got plenty. Thanks. Man. Hello over there! Oh, Mousy. Hello, hello, friends. Uh, how are you guys doing? I see you're looking at the farm. How are you liking the wheat and stuff? It's incredible. I don't think I've come across a group anywhere, really, that has as many, well, as many renewable crops as you guys do. This bread supply, you know, it'll last you a while. Yeah, well, that's the idea. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. It's just beautiful to even see. Pretty oh, crops. <laughs> Monroe, maybe we should tell her about the generator. Oh yeah, uh, I've been meaning oh. to tell you something about the generator, Mousy. It's, it's pretty much busted. Whoa. I, I don't know what I don't know what happened. It was fine this morning when I checked it, but uh, I don't know. It it was just, it was just completely, you know, inoperational. Oh, okay. Whoa. Um. Okay. That 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 is an important problem to deal with. But y you can have a look at it later and see if you can fix it okay tomorrow though because we have other things going on and oh well, dear wait shouldn't we be checking the generator now i mean doesn't that power the electric fence that keeps the walkers out yes and that is pretty important but we have a bigger problem on our hands nick you need to go look for like come back out and look for Cassandra. we really need to find her elliot's been calling your name and going for searches in the middle of the night it's really really bad well I, I understand that, you know, Cassandra's important to your group, but I thought, you know, I thought we just figured she wandered off. Why is Elliot so concerned? It, it, Elliot and Cassandra were sort of a couple. It, I can't have people just leaving the camp in the middle of the night on their own looking for people, and we really need to figure out where Cassandra is. Well, listen, I understand where you guys are coming from, and I understand Cassandra's important to the group, but... Before I help you guys anymore, I really do want to see my friend Barney. I still haven't seen him since I've came to the camp. For all I know, he's not even doing alright. I mean, he might be afraid, he might not know that I'm here. I just, I really want to see Barney. And right now, he's locked in Cassandra's office. Or okay, the medical okay. tent, or whatever you guys call it, the infirmary. Yeah, uh, I, that's understandable. I, I'm sure he's okay, but you know what, uh, we'll have... Nick and Doug break down the door. How about that? Well, I hate to make you guys do yeah. that, but I, if that's the only key we have is with Cassandra, then I don't see another option. After that, I promise I'll help you look for Cassandra as long as it takes to find her. That's That would be very, very helpful. Thank you so much. And we'll definitely we'll get the door down. Alright, well, I'll go find Doug. Why don't you guys start searching for Cassandra, and we'll meet you out there after I say hi to Barney. You got it. Doug, good news. Mousy wants you to break down the door to Cassandra's office. All right. Time for some action. Man, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for an excuse to just punch something. Well, I'm sorry I'm making it come out in the rain and do this, Doug. I just really am anxious to see Barney. I don't know why no, Cassandra would lock him in there. 
No, it's no sweat. We'll get the store down in no time. <clears throat> oh, man. All right. Maybe I need a running start. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna ram this thing down. One, two, three! Ah! Oh, my head! Uh, Ugh. Dog, are you all right? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Let me try again. Ah! Oh. Dog, I, I don't think that's gonna work. Look, I was just with Monroe. Maybe I can get him to help us. Monroe? Are you kidding me? That guy can barely hold up his own weight. He might be good with wires and stuff, but... Come on, if you need plain old muscle, you just need Doug, all right? Uh, okay, well, uh, do you want me to help you, or...? No, it's fine. I can feel the door giving in. All it needs is one good shot. Okay. Yeah! Ugh. Oh. Wow. Ugh. Man, that really hurt. Wait. Where's Barney? Barney? Doug, I thought you said this was the medical cabin. This is the medical cabin. Okay, well, where's my friend? Well, don't look at me. I mean, I don't even know where Cassandra went. Well, it's your group, Doug. I mean, my friend's missing. I just, I want to know where he is. Guys, hey, I see you got in here. I can hear you yelling from, like, the other side of the camp. What's going on? Well, Mousy, do you know where Cassandra might have put Barney? He's not here. Oh, what? Hold up. Um, if he's not here... Oh, goodness. Um... Okay, let's just calm down. Cassandra probably took Barney somewhere, okay? Maybe that's what she was doing. That's why she disappeared, okay? That's... There could be a simple explanation. We, we just need to go back into the, the woods and see if we can find them, okay? All right, I, I guess, but... Here's his axe. Look, let's just hurry, all right? I really want to find my friend, and if Cassandra took him, that's fine, but I still need to see him. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Let's... Let's let's get to it. Come on. Cassandra. 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 Where are you? Oh on, no. Sweet, where are you? Oh, did you guys it's... smell that? Hold on. Wait what? up a second. I do see how someone could get lost back here. It's. It sounds like some wa. It smells like some walkers. I mean, it smells like rotting flesh. If that's the case, we need to be careful. Yeah, everyone, be on your toes. Weapons out. Cassandra, are you okay? Cassandra! Oh god, that smell. Hey, Wait. you guys see this ditch here? Yeah. Man, I hate to see someone. Hold on. Let me. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. I... Oh uh. no. Elliot, no, Elliot, no, no, no. Oh uh. no, what, what's wrong? What, what's in there? Elliot, <laughs> it smells just get disgusting. Back. Oh, you don't need to see her god. like that. Come on. It's Cassandra. Oh Monroe, get it together. Come on, pull yourself together. Drink some water. Oh just... My. Come on. I, hey. I just don't right. understand it. I mean, was it... Was it always there? Was it a fall? Did she go out with... Without hey, any hey. pain? I just... How okay, long is she... Elliot, it's gonna be fine, okay? Just some water, okay? Just how breathe. How long has she been there for? It's... Did anyone hear? <sighs> Elliot, It's, it's um... gonna be alright. I'm sorry, I I know how it feels to lose someone close to you. Like that? Right there up in your face? Without any type of veil of sympathy to cover it up? Just right there in front of you? Oh Elliot, my god. It, it's gonna be fine, okay? I'm sure it, it, it mm. might have been an accident. Maybe she didn't feel anything. It could have... I don't know what to say. It's... I hope she didn't. What are we doing now? We can't yeah. just... Okay, just, just, just take there. it easy, Monroe. okay? Just take it easy. Mousy, just... can I uh, talk to you guys for a second? Yes, 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 yes. Here, drink, hey, just leave drink it more there. water, okay? I don't want any more water. Just, just keep sipping the water and just breathe, okay? Like... What's up? What's going on? Oh my. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but... I understand you guys were close to Cassandra. My friend is still missing. And if he was with... Cassandra, when sh she was taken, well, there's a chance that whoever took Cassandra might still have Barney, and he might still be alive. You think this... Okay, this could have been nefarious, is what you're saying. Well, I'm just saying, the world isn't as nice as... Well, it isn't as nice as you guys think it is in your camp. And besides that, there's a marking oh. on that tree over there. It looks like an S. 
Monroe what? and I saw something wait. similar near the generator. Yeah, wait a second. That all is I'm the exact saying same is, marking on the generator. All okay, I'm saying okay. is something isn't adding up, and I think at the very least we should continue on and try and figure out where whoever did this might have been heading. They're okay. obviously somewhere around this camp. Do you guys know of any enemies that you have? Any other groups? Rivals? Um... I think it's important that we just watch our backs for the time being, okay? We need to just... There's plenty of enemies out there. There's walkers. There's just... Okay. We need to watch our backs. We need to... Well, what do we, we do about... We need to get Elliot back to camp, okay? We need to get him... I was gonna say... He's I... in no state. I don't think he should come with us, but... I do feel pretty strongly that Barney could still be out there, and yeah, if there's we'll a chance, I'm not gonna let, I'm not gonna let him go. We'll look for your friends. It's we just we need to get him back to camp at least. All right, let's go. All right, Elliot. What have you guys decided on what? What are we just gonna leave her here? Well, we can come back and get her and have a proper burial for her. I promise. We just, uh, we have to get back no, to the no, camp. No, no, no. Now, you listen here. I know that you're all nice folks, but she was the, she was my life. She was the mainstay of every, of every person that, who I was. You understand I know, that Elliot. now? You're going to have to leave. I'm staying here. She at least deserves a civil burial. Elliot, it's not I, safe out here to be by yourself. I don't care. I don't care. She's dead. What have I got to lose at this point? Answer me that. What have I got to lose? She wouldn't want you to live like that. She wouldn't want you to be like that. It doesn't matter what people want in this world, don't you get that? Well, she's the one you loved, though. Mousy, Mousy, let him stay. He's right. You let me stay and you keep moving on. Promise me you'll come back to the camp, okay? I'm promising she her want you to, to just... get her respectful burial. I respect that, okay? She does deserve a proper burial, but I don't think she'd want you to just abandon us and... Well, listen, all these semantics and talking is doing us no good. You guys gotta move on. I'm all gonna right. get her out of there. Alright. Be safe, okay? And, Elliot, I'm sorry for this. If yeah. I can do anything to help, just please let me know. No. There's nothing left. Right. Just get a move on. I don't want to hold you up. Come on, guys. Oh, guys, are you seeing this? Well, it looks oh, like hey. some sort of building. Yeah, Doug was telling me about something like this. He said he found some abandoned factory out when he was on one of his uh, supply runs or something. That it was swarming with walkers. Well, well, it clearly still is. Yeah, he got that right. It doesn't look abandoned to me. Oh. I wish I had my rifle. It's gonna take forever to clear him out with this axe. Whoa, 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 no. Absolutely not. What? What do you mean? We are not using violence here. Mousy, they're walkers. They'll try and kill you. They were people once, okay? They may be dead. Have some respect for the dead. Even though they're dead, they were still once people. It's it, We're not, we're pacifists here, okay? We are not using violence against them. Oh. I have another idea. Okay, I'm just saying, if you walk down there, I know enough about walkers to know that they'll try and eat you. How are you going to get around all of those? I mean, there's probably more that we can't even see. Fireworks. Fireworks? Plain and simple. Well, they're more or less attracted to lots of noise. This is going to draw them away. I'll set the fireworks, which will draw them all away. You guys head in there, and I'll cover you from the outside, okay? Well, Monroe, what do you think? Seems like a good idea to me. All right, I'll trust you, Mousy, but if things get hairy in there, just know I, I don't have any issues with taking out walkers. People I can understand, but if a walker comes at me, in my opinion, he's got it coming. <sighs> walkers were people once, Nick. What well, if that was your sister, or brother, or cat or dog, if they can be turned into zombies? Haven't seen it yet, but could happen. Well, I guess you're right. Look. Mousy, you've been good to me, so we'll do it your way this time, alright? I appreciate that, thank you. Alright, come on, Monroe. Let's get in position. Alright. Yep. Move quickly, guys. I don't know how many fireworks I have for this. Hmm. 
This is huge. This must have been some sort of storage facility. Yeah, I always wondered what it was like inside here. All those stories from Doug made it out to be like some kind of paradise or something. You know how he talks. Well, there is some good news if this has been, well, if it's been pretty much guarded by walkers the whole time, chances are no one's had a chance to loot this area yet. We might be able to find some supplies and well, maybe that's what Cassandra was thinking, too. Maybe that's why she ended up out here. You really think Cassandra would have just walked all the way out here with Bonnie? Well, look. Seems like kind of a stretch, and, and we found her. We found her in there, and... I'm I don't just know. saying. There's just, there's just something really funny about this, Nick. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that, and I don't know for sure where Cassandra was heading, or even if she had Barney with her, to be honest, but just trying to think of any reason why they would end up well why she would end up like that and Barney would end up missing uh, well maybe we'll find our answers in here yeah you check some of those chests over there I'll check them over here all right huh bloody rag hey Monroe come take a look at this what is it looks like some rags I mean that looks like fresh blood to me some the rags water are still bottles? Wet. I don't know. I feel like something definitely went on here. Let's keep looking. There's gotta be more clues. I mean Oh, look at this. Huh. I was what? starting to think whoa, I'd never whoa, find whoa, a whoa, rifle whoa. again. Okay. Just Yeah. Alright. That's fine, I guess. You can't blame me if I'm a little uneasy around that thing, but uh you do you, Nick. Well, look, Monroe, I gave Mousy my word we'd do things her way, but you can't blame me for wanting to be careful. Besides, with Cassandra being the way she is, we don't know what happened. She might have fallen, but she might have not. We need to be prepared for whatever we find. So, I'm going to carry this, but we'll still we'll still do it your way. We'll make sure that we're quiet. We won't take out anybody that we don't have to. But well, if a I walker trust... comes at me, I don't know. I've just learned it's uh, well, better to be safe than sorry with those things. Well, I trust you, Nick. I mean, you've been outside longer than I have. If that's what it takes, uh, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm not one to argue, huh? It's better to have the option than to need it. So, listen, let's just keep searching around here. I'm sure there's something. If there's bloody rags, and we found Cassandra in the woods out there, they must have ended up here for some reason. Maybe they were... Maybe they were searching for something. Supplies, maybe. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. It sounded like it came from upstairs. Yeah, it did. Should I go take a look, or...? Uh, you know, don't worry about it. You know, I bet one of the walkers just couldn't find their way out of here once those fireworks came off. Don't worry, I'll lure it out. Okay. It'll be, it'll be fine. Don't worry. I'll let you handle it. Check this chest over here, too. Uh, Nick? Yeah? Nick, get up here, please. Huh? Yeah, Nick, hurry. What's wrong? What's wrong, Monroe? What's going on? Huh? Wait, who are you? Hey, no, stop! Uh, hey, Monroe, come on, we need to follow that guy. He might know what happened to Cassandra. All right, let's go. Hey, stop! Stop right there! What the? Uh, oh, my leg. Ah. Uh, I think he broke his leg. Monroe, keep an eye on him. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna run down there and get him. All right. Ah. Oh. Oh. Don't move. Ah. Drop the gun. Come on. Don't do anything stupid. Ah. All right. Now move away. Walk towards the dumpster. No funny business. Monroe. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Right, grab his pistol. All right. All right. Do you have any rope? Anything we can use to tie this guy up? I found these handcuffs in the warehouse. All right. Stay Hold against on. the wall. Don't move. Cuff him, Monroe. All right. What are you doing over here? <laughs> what 
you guys laughing think about? You can cuff me, huh? <laughs> what about your other friends? What about them? Were you talking about Cassandra? Do you know <sighs> what happened to her? <laughs> Don't worry about Cassandra. She's dead. So you do know what happened to her. And that means you know what happened to Barney. So I'll give you two choices. You can have a bullet in your head, or you can tell me what you know. Ah, uh, so you want to kill me now? <laughs> Don't worry about Cassandra. Worry about your other friends. <laughs> All your other friends. What are you talking about? Cassandra's Mon dead. Monroe, what are we gonna do? He's not... He's not saying anything. I Look, I don't want to kill him, all right? He might know something, and then on top of that, you know, I mean, we're better than him, right? Even so, if he did anything to Barney... Besides, he killed Cassandra. I mean, he's laughing about it. I know, but... <sighs> Look, Nick, sometimes... Sometimes they're, they're you know, scenarios where I actually do want to kill, you know? But we gotta stand above that kind of principle. Ugh, fine. <laughs> All right. Look at you two, just debating whether to kill me or not. <laughs> All right, Monroe, let's just go get Mousy and we'll bring him back to our camp. I'm sure he knows where it is too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> possibly I do. Come on, move it. Surely you can go a little bit faster than this, even with a broken leg. I leg. You should have Come thought on. of that before you tried to hold us up at gunpoint. Monroe, are you sure you're okay? Come yeah, on. yeah, I'm okay. So this is the guy that, that killed Cassandra. This is him. Well. What let's... do you? What? 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 What, did, what was she? What did she say? Hmm? Did you? Did you even look her in the eyes? She was a human being, you know. Mousy, he's just not saying anything. He's been quiet since we tied him up. But <sighs> something crazy. tells me he knows more than he's letting on. He oh, said surely. something about knowing where our camp was, too. Oh, really? Yeah, well... What? What's the plan there, buddy, huh? Hit you with my stick a little bit. How about that? Come on. Come on, talk. <sighs> Mousy, I don't think he's going to say anything. Look, these types of people... Maybe we should handle this a different way. You know, no. I've still got my rifle, and... Someone like him, he's only afraid of one thing. No, no. We, we, we have something in place for this kind of thing, okay? We, we can... We have a way of handling it, as frustrating as it is. Alright. It's your camp, but... If he doesn't tell me where my friend is soon, I'm not gonna have a choice. Trust me, we'll get him to talk. Come on, through that opening on the right. No funny business. Monroe? How's Mousy? that generator coming along? <laughs> hey, yeah, you sure on. had a lot of fun about that one, didn't you? <sighs> you don't realize how long that's going to take to fix. You don't realize how many people here depend on that. Or maybe you do and you just don't care. I mean, I don't think they care about anything. Well, that's why he took Barney. I mean... That must be the reason. He must want something from us. Or else, why would he do that? Why would he just kill Cassandra and, and kidnap Barney for no reason? Why isn't he talking? He just hasn't said a word. <sighs> this is really starting to get on my nerves. For all we know, he's just toying with in us there. at this point. Get yeah, in the house. Through the door. Mousy, where turns. should we put him? Are we just going to lock him in here? Take him down to the cellar and lock him in there. Cellar. Doc, search him. Make sure you make sure you search him. Sorry. I, okay. I'll be down in a moment. I just gotta. Yeah, you got it. Okay, Mousy. Need yeah. some air. All right, Monroe. Here, let me go first. All right. I don't want this guy trying any more tricks. Ah. He seems to like his tricks, doesn't ah. he? Oh, I'm sorry. Is your leg hurting? Ah. Yeah. Uh, you know, Monroe. We could have helped him, I guess, but I guess. That would have been Cassandra's job, huh? Looks like the only thing we can do is lock him in this cell. Yeah, that's a darn shame, isn't it? Come on. I'll in you go. Get in there. Through the door. 
Back against the wall. Keep going. Now turn away from us. Alright, Monroe. I'll go into the cell. Right behind you. And just search him. Just look for anything that could be used as a weapon. We don't want him to have anything in here. It's a nice tune you're whistling there, buddy. Be a shame if... Well... Be a shame if someone knocked your teeth in and you couldn't whistle anymore. <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's over. We've caught you. Don't you know what we're going to do to you? <sighs> if you're with my group, don't you know what we would have already done to you? You took out one of our friends and you kidnapped someone else that we care about. And you're laughing about it? Hey, <laughs> Nick, look what I found in his shoe. Just as I suspected. This guy wasn't coming here to toy with us. The first chance he got, he was going to stab us in the back. Personally, I don't see the reason why we shouldn't just put a bullet in his knee and see what he knows. Well, let's hope it doesn't have to come to that, Nick. He might talk yet. We'll see. So far, he's doing an awful lot of whistling and not enough telling me where Barney is. Guys. Everyone. Upstairs. Now. Let's go. All right, Mousy, but he's going to talk one way or the other. Oh, I know. All right, come on, Monroe. Let's go. Just go ahead and head upstairs. I'll I'll be there. Well, Mousy, aren't you coming? I'll, I'll, I'll be up there. Don't worry. I'll I'll be on my way. I just just give me a moment. Okay. Say, Monroe, has anyone checked up on Elliot since we've gotten back? I don't think so. I mean, he's probably just hanging around the camp. Poor, Poor guy. guy. Yeah. Gotta talk to him at some point. <sighs> okay, uh, now that that's sorted away. <laughs> uh, don't look at me like that, okay. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, what I want you to do is tend to his wounds... Um, make sure he's bound, of course. I don't want him doing anything funny. But, uh, we wanna... You're gonna have to set his leg, probably. Um, he wait. may... He may have sprained his wrist as well. Uh, oh, not wait, sure. wait, wait. Mousy, what? You're gonna give this guy medical attention? I just don't understand. I mean, I get it. We don't kill him, but... Why waste supplies that could help good people on someone like him? Someone we're pretty sure killed one of our friends and kidnapped another. Look, even... Even... Uh, even the worst people can change. And everyone deserves help and medical attention. Um, everyone deserves a chance. Are you okay there, Mousy? I'm fine. We're doing great here, okay? You're gonna set his leg and make sure his wrist is okay because something happened to it as well. And, uh, just make sure he's all comfy down there. Yeah, alright. See what I can remember for Wait what. a second, Monroe, no. I, what? I'm sorry, I, I just don't agree with this. I understand some people can change, Mousy, but... Look, you guys have lived a pretty lucky life here. You haven't had to deal with what the world's become, but... I have. I know that some people on the outside, they're just, they're not people anymore. They can't change. What they've become is, well, maybe in some small part, it's who they've always been. But either way, they're not worth helping. Well, some of those people still have use. And I think you should trust me. This is still my camp. All I'm saying is, if this somehow hurts Barney's chances, or we waste time with this guy, and, and somehow I can't find Barney... Look, I'm not gonna let you stop me from getting my revenge. That's respectable, Do but... what you want with him. Heal him. I don't care anymore. Just... When it's time, I'm gonna talk to him. And I'm gonna have him tell me what I wanna know. If you can find out what I need to know before then, then great. But if not, we're going to do things my way. And that's just the end of it. It's my friend, Mousy. I'm not going to let him sit around waiting for me while I pamper this guy who might have done this to him. Oh, who said anything about pampering? We're just going to make his wounds better. 
but I understand. Believe me, compared to what he'd be getting in my group, this is a spa treatment. Just go do it. I'll be back. I'm going to go check up on Elliot. Oh, man. Man, why? Why? Elliot? Hey, how are you? I, uh... Well, I, I guess you could guess what I'm upset about. Not... I don't mean to be a big baby, but my goodness. No, it's it's all right, Elliot. Look, I'm sorry, and I know that's probably the last thing you want to keep hearing over and over, but I know what it's like to lose someone that you care about, and... In just this know... world, I think everyone does, you know? Well, even so, it's... It's tough, and... Never easy, I get it, yeah. I just want you to know that it's... It's going to get better, and... You shouldn't lose hope. I mean, you've still got a group of people that care about you and, and really do want you to be safe and all right. And, you know, from what I've seen, that's more than most people can count on. Well, I've always been told that life is like a slingshot. You know, when you're getting held back, just let go and things start going real well for you. Kind of like that, but... Right now, we are being held back. I mean, think about it. You got the generator. Sandra. Well, What's going on? There's a, some type of aura, vibe, of bad luck. And I don't even believe in most of that nonsense. But it's here. I mean, really, can't you feel it? Well, I don't know what I feel, but I think it might be something a little bit more than an aura. Especially, well... You're talking about an entity. You're talking about a person, aren't you? Hey, you know what? Speaking of which, who's that fella you brought back to camp? Uh, uh, Elliot, I don't know if I should, if I should be the one to tell you this. Mousy, Mousy might want you to know from her, but you deserve to know now. Uh, the guy that we found, he, well, he seems like he's insane, and he did bring up Cassandra and Barney. I don't want to say for sure, but we're pretty sure that this is the guy who killed her. Well, let me tell you something. Now, let me tell you something right now. We're no longer in a world of courts and laws. You find out that he may be guilty. He's gonna have to come through my judicial system. Do you understand that? Well, look, Elliot. No you one's understand gonna, that? No one's gonna fault you for wanting revenge, but... And believe me, I'm someone who would normally agree with you. But we have to listen to Mousy. It's her camp. As much as I, I want to agree that. with you, we have to listen to Mousy. But I will tell you one more thing. He's not going to hear from me. You understand that? He's going to feel it. Well, look, you're well within your rights to be vengeful. and I would feel the same way in your shoes, but just promise me that you're not going to do anything without getting Mousy's approval. All right, I'll talk to her. I'll go talk to her right now and see what she can... Well, see if I can get her to see things my way. All right. I trust you, Sport. I know... You know what I'm going through. And All right, only Elliot. hope that... Come through for me, you understand that? I'll try. Just... Try and keep your head up, all right? It'll yeah. get better. I promise. Well, for some of us. <laughs> Hey, Nick. Oh, Doug. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Cassandra. Uh, that's, oh. it's absolutely just awful. I mean, have you talked to Elliot about it? Yeah, I did. He was there when we found the body, and, well, Doug, he's really torn up about this. It seems like him and Cassandra were, well, it looks like they were together for a while. Yeah, that they were. I mean... They were together for as long as I've been in this camp, really. As long as anyone can remember. Uh, oh, poor Elliot. Must just, be really torn up. Yeah, it's sad, and... You know, we still don't know what happened to Barney. I mean, we assumed that she was with Cassandra, but... We didn't find his body there, and... I find it hard to believe that 
guy we caught would have spent so much time and effort to make two different body sites. So you caught the guy? Yeah, we did. Mousy's, well, Mousy's healing him and treating him like he's some sort of guest here. I, I just, I don't understand it. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. This guy killed one of ours and well, he kidnapped another one <clears throat> of our friends. Speaking of that, Mousy. Of uh, what? Hmm? Look. What's going on, guys? Look, I'm... I know I keep bringing this up to you, and... I just... I talked to Elliot. He's still really torn up about Cassandra. I don't think well, it's right... Of course he would. Well, I... I just don't think it's right that we're... Bandaging and treating up the wounds of the person who... <sighs> we're pretty sure killed Cassandra while Elliot this just has again. to suffer. Look... I'm sorry, but I can't just keep quiet about this. I don't think we should have... I don't think we should have him inside of our camp. Whatever oh. his name is. What did I tell you? You need to trust me, okay? We, we need a plan going into this, all right? We need to use our brains over Braun. This guy is smarter than he's acting, all right? He's taunting us. He's been taunting us this whole time. Surely well, you've recognized that. If he's so smart, then then how did he fall out of the roof and break his leg? I mean, how did he get himself caught by us? It, I don't know. It just seems like it seems like we're doing a lot to do for nothing. And and what my, what what information are we gonna get out of him by killing him? Hmm? I'm not saying we can kill him, but there are other ways, ways that don't involve. Giving and him our medical supplies. <laughs> there are many other ways as well. Right now, you need to let me handle this, okay? It needs to be handled extremely carefully, all right? If I if I hear you say one more thing about the matter, okay? This is the end of discussion. Well, Mousy, I just I just don't understand why we can't this just. This will be handled my way. <sighs> Fine. All right. Just. Don't All blame right, me when it doesn't work out. All right, Nick. You should just settle down. Come on. I think you need a long... I think you have a... You know, you've earned a big rest. Honestly, between you and me, you should trust her. Believe it or not, she has experience with this sort of thing. I know. I know she does, Doug, but... Look, I have experience with these types of people. And no matter what kind of experience Mousy has, you guys have had a pretty fortunate time here since this has happened. I mean, this camp has sheltered you guys from a lot of the realities of the new world, and well, I've seen people like him all too often, and I've learned there's only one way to deal with them. But I'll, well, I'll let Mousy handle it. that might be true, Nick. It. it might be true, but, you know, despite what you're saying, we have gone through some things. So just don't worry about it. Let Mousy take care of it, okay? She's led us through this far. All right, Doug. I'll trust you. And her. All right. I'm gonna go get some rest and get out of this rain. Let me know if you need anything or if that guy decides he wants to talk, all right? Yeah. Don't worry about it, Nick. You go rest. Oh, yeah, I see you down there. You hang your head low. Because if I get my hands on you, you're going to be hanging high Elliot? from the gallows, you understand? Elliot, calm down. What are you yelling about? Well, little Mr. Innocent down there is playing like he's a little bit clueless. Won't look up at me. I've been screaming his name forever. Oh. Down there it is. Look, Elliot, why don't you just go talk to him? I mean, there's no sense I'm not in allowed to. What? Yeah, you heard me. I'm not allowed to. Oh, well, I guess that does make sense. You are awfully emotional about this. Man, if you think my voice is loud, if you think my face is red, <laughs> wait till you see his after I'm done with it. No. Look, Elliot, Just... you have to calm down, all right? We need to get information out of this guy, not revenge right now. You're Look. right, you're right, you're right. You, hey, you hear that? You're not a human being, Elliot, you're a tool. Elliot, stop, you're stop yelling. Stop, look, you need to calm down, alright? 
Mousy's not going to be happy if you're running around screaming at this guy while he's being held here. Look, if it'll Just make you... Take this. If it'll make you feel better, I can go check out what he knows. See what he'll tell me. I can't you? promise anything. I can't promise anything. But I'll at least go try, alright? But you have to promise me that you're not going to stand out here yelling at him for the rest of the day, alright? I promise, but make sure. I know you're younger than I am. You've got a good head on your shoulders, and that brain is, well, working much better than my rusty old thing, but you think you can handle it? You I... think you know how these guys' minds work? I'm telling you, I've, I've ran into some of them. They're crazy. Well, trust me. I think I've ran into my fair share, too. Just promise me you'll get some rest. Go tend to the wheat fields or grab some food. Just keep your mind off of this. I'll come and find you if I get any information. That sounds... That sounds like a plan to me. You hear that, buddy? We're gonna... We're gonna be cracking you open like a can right, of justice. Alright, Elliot. Elliot. Go. I've got this. You're around. Now, don't disappoint me. I've got hear this. That? Don't worry. Just... Go calm down and... Try to forget about this, alright? I'll find I'll you if I have you any info. I'll soon, buddy. <laughs> See you around. Oh, man. What a hell of a are you ready to talk yet? No? You will be. <laughs> I don't get it. What's so funny? You're locked, handcuffed in a basement with a rifle pointed at you. Anyone else would be scared, shaking in their boots, and you're laughing? You think this is a joke? <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna ask twice. I want to know some information about you and your group. I want to know who you are. First off, why did you do what you did to Cassandra? I've been following you guys for a while now. <laughs> following who? Me and Barney? I've been following you and Barney for a while now. So you... I started following you from the campsite. The campsite? So this was never about Mousy's group. You were just in the area, and you found me. But, wait, I don't understand. What did you do with Barney? Is he alive? Tell me. What, cat got your tongue? Come on. Look, I'm not going to ask again. I don't... What is this? Is this a game to you? I can help you. I'll tell you this much. Those S's? That's our signature. We are the strangers. We are the strangers. That's our signature symbol. <laughs> S? You mean the one by the generator? And the yes. one I saw carved by Cassandra's burial site? Yes! All of them. They're ours. We are the strangers. We are the strangers. Okay, you say ours, but... But who? Who else? The strangers. We are the strangers. <laughs> the strangers? Who are the strangers? Tell me, come on. We Up are against the, the wall. Up against the wall. We are the strangers. I'm gonna give you one <laughs> last chance. Tell me who the strangers are, and tell me where my friend Barney is. Look, I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm what is going on here? I'm gonna ask you again. Huh? Mousy. Nick, get out here now. Uh, look, I'm sorry, I just... No, come on. Upstairs, now. Okay. Look, Mousy, I... I cannot believe you right now. I'm sorry. Do you sorry. understand what you've just done? Look, I know I'm... You just I'm... showed them our whole hand. What? There was a strategy to this, Nick. I don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? I was just asking they... him about we Barney. Are... You've just told them everything that we needed to know. So now they know what not to tell us. We don't know how many people that they have in their little group. We don't know where they are. We, we, we don't know how, how... We don't know how they were able to kill Cassandra, where your friend is, or the other... Look, Mousy, I'm... I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't think about it that way, okay? I just... Barney means a lot to me, and I... I just... 
can't stand to know that the person who knows where he is is sitting down in a cell getting his leg treated. I'm sorry, that's just not the type of person I am. And what... In what point did you maybe realize that we had a plan going on here? I don't want to treat this guy with any sincerity as the next person for what he's done and what his friends have done. Look, Killed Cassandra and... <laughs> I'm sorry, Mousy. I, I didn't realize you had a plan. I just... I thought you guys were being too easy on him. I didn't think you had what it takes to get the information that we needed, but... Look, obviously I was wrong, and I should have let you play this from the beginning. I'm sorry. I... I don't know what else to say. I told you, you should have trusted me from the beginning. Now I'm gonna handle this once for all and figure out what they did with all of them. Well, let me help. I mean... No. You've done enough helping. Okay. Go out to the rest of the camp. I'll take care of this once and for all. Finally, we have a moment. I'm sure you know who I am by now. And I sure as know who you are. Or at least, I know who your little group is. Not gonna say anything? Not gonna say hello? That's fine. Perfectly fine. You know what? I'll tell you what I know so far. Okay? And you can just listen. I got you all figured out. I know exactly what you did. I know you followed those two. Nick and Barney, those, you know. I know you followed them because they had gear and supplies. I mean, <laughs> a bunch of gear and supplies and just disappear, you know? And then, your whole little group sent you to collect some information on us. Snooping in, disabling the electric fences, which, by the way, you honestly think we... I wouldn't notice. And then following us, once again, I think I wouldn't notice. I'm impressed, I must say. Impressed? <laughs> yes, very much so. Well, I'm sure glad you're, uh, you're getting an enjoyment out of this and impressed. Well, <sighs> I could just, I could just do the same thing. It's the same exact way you got in last time. I don't understand how you honestly thought that you, you would get you would go unnoticed like what? it baffles me it honestly baffles me what what were you thinking you're going to do you just you just think we're that stupid <laughs> not everyone's smart <sighs> i don't <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. Do, do you not even remember me? Do you not honestly remember this face? It looks familiar. Familiar? Familiar. Do you remember what you did? Do you I remember didn't what do you did anything. to her? I didn't do anything, but I know who did. You, did. Did, you, <laughs> did you even know her name? No. It's Ophelia. Her name was Ophelia. We are the strangers. I want to know which one of you did it. We are the strangers. <laughs> which one? Give me a name. We are the strangers. <laughs> we are the strangers. Oh my God. I can't believe this. I can't. I can't. Oh my. Oh my God. Boy. Hey, dog. Oh, hey, Nick. Didn't see you come up. Whoa, you look worse for wear. What's going on? Uh, well, look, I sort of was spying on Mousy while she was talking to the, well, the stranger that we've got staying in the basement over there, and, well, she was talking about the stranger being here before, and you know, asking her about some girl named Ophelia. I just, Ophelia. Do you know anything about that? I'm just really confused about what's going on. I thought that Cassandra was the only person missing from this camp. Uh, well, well, you were bound to figure it out at some point, Nick. Look, Ophelia is... Ophelia's Mousy's daughter. Daughter? Well, 
Ophelia was Mousy's daughter, I should say. Uh, I didn't know Mousy had any children. What happened to her? She was living with us in this camp. I mean, it was the, it was the early days, you know, the, the apocalypse just happened and... Well, Ophelia was a really young kid. She didn't know any better. She left the camp. She wandered a little too far out into the woods and, uh, well... We went searching for her body when she didn't come back and... Just like uh, Cassandra. Yeah, exactly. So... We all saw the body, too. It was... It wasn't pretty, Nick. And and it wasn't animals. It wasn't walkers or anything. It was... It was clearly done by other humans. And we never figured out who did it. So... That must mean that Mousy... She thinks that this group is responsible for Cassandra and her daughter. If what you're saying is true, and you heard her say that these strangers came before, then I wouldn't put it past any of this craziness. Look, Mousy is the most peaceful person in the world, okay? She could not hurt a fly. But Ophelia was the only thing she really ever lived for. And now that, you know, now that her daughter's gone... She doesn't want anything more than to have her revenge. I, I didn't realize. Look, something has to be done about this right now. Mousy, she's... Well, I hate to say it, but I think she's too emotionally attached to this. And with Barney's life hanging in the balance, I can't afford f for anybody to be blinded by vengeance. Not even me. Definitely not Mousy. Look, we need to go talk to her now, because something has to be done. We can still have a chance to save Barney, and... If we can take this group out once and for all, we need to take it. Well, what do you think we can possibly do about any of this? Well, all I know is I'm done waiting around. We need to talk to Mousy now, and figure out what the plan is. Are you with me, Doug? Well... Honestly, I can't see this head in any other direction. So... Let's go talk to Mousy. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> Mousy! It's just... Mousy, get out of the way! Watch out! I... I, <sighs> I just... Uh... Mousy, what's uh, wrong? Why I... Was... I am... Um, I'm sorry, I... I shouldn't have let my emotions get to me. I'm, I'm just... I'm... I'm just kind of flustered right now. I'm all over the place. I, I, Look, I'm just so angry. I can't. Mousy, I, I talked to Doug. I know about Ophelia. What? I, it wasn't oh. his fault. I, I overheard you talking to the stranger, and I went to ask him, and. Well, oh. I guess I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry, and I understand why this is so personal for you now. Yeah. It. It hasn't been easy. It's just... It's okay. I, I know you just... You're just trying to help and... I just... I'm so sorry. I, I can't... I can't even think right now. I just... <laughs> well, look. It's not gonna help anybody if you get yourself killed out here fighting walkers. I know you're upset, but... The group needs you. They all look up to you and they look to you to be their leader. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I... I just... I, I let my anger get the best of me. It's just when it comes to... Look, oh, it just... You, it... you don't have to explain anything. In fact, I came out here to apologize to you. Uh, well... I've been letting my emotions get the better of me as well. It's just... With Barney missing... I just don't know what to do. I, I'll, I won't stop at anything to get him back, and... Well, now I guess I realize that's just how you've been feeling. Yeah, I understand. And you know what? I, why don't you just... Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you help, uh, go get Monroe and go look for clues to try and find Barney? Because... Not... Uh, you don't need to go through what I'm going through right now, okay? Are you sure, Mousy? Are you going to be alright? I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I've got the whole camp to worry about. 
All right. Well. It'll keep me busy. Let's head back and find Monroe then. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh goodness! Whoa! What on earth? What the? Monroe. Oh hey guys! Come on, help me put this out, quick! Oh my Jeez. gosh! All right. Oh. Hold on. S stay back, guys. All right. I... What happened? Yeah. What? I I don't know. Just. No one was watching the gate, I guess, and, and and next thing we know, we just hear this big crash, and well, we got this truck and no, here now. No one saw a, a truck, like, drive into the gate. Well, like I said, no one was watching the gate. I just, uh, I don't know, just... Gosh, Doesn't okay. make any sense. Was there anyone driving it? No. It's, this is strange. I've never seen a truck like this in the camp. I mean, this isn't one of yours, Mousy, right? No, no, this is not one of our trucks. Okay, well then, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Monroe, is there any markings in the truck? Any any sort of indication of where it might have came from? Uh, well, I could check the trunk. Hold on a sec. All right, yeah, do that. Mousy, should we maybe think about telling the others in the camp to prepare themselves? I mean, this could be an attack. Oh gosh, let's find out what that says first. We need to uh, we need to know the situation. Nick, you might want to read this. What? What is it, Monroe? What's going on? Just a note. If you're looking for your friend, you're too late. You'll never see him again. Oh, no. Whoa, it's signed what? by the strangers. Uh, no. No, no, no. This is... Uh-uh. You, you guys gotta find him, okay? And we're not. I'm not letting anyone go through this again. They're not getting away with this, okay? How, this how is... are we gonna find them? We don't even know... Where this truck came from, let alone where they're keeping Barney. Okay, okay, hold on. We j did wait, Monroe. Are you sure you haven't seen this before? Uh, hey. Now that you mention it, doesn't this look like that truck up the road? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. This. Oh my gosh. Wait. So you guys have seen this truck before, nearby? I knew it looked familiar. Oh, okay, okay. That's. I think that's a good place to start. This is the. It, you gotta go look a few miles up. It. it oh wow. All right, oh. Well, Monroe, let's go. Mousy, you need to stay here in case they come back. We've, Make well, sure the we've camp is well guarded. Now. Yeah. Be careful, guys. Okay. All right. You too. All right. Stay safe, Mousy. Come on, Monroe. We have to go try and find Barney. All right. Gotta find where that truck came from. All right, Nick, I'm pretty sure the truck was somewhere from this way. Okay, well, he heads up, Monroe. Oh. <laughs> All right, one more. You might want to take out that knife. It's probably better to be armed in these woods. Yeah, well, if you say so. I don't want to use it, though. Well, better to be prepared than to not have it when you need it. Look, I see one around this tree. Hold on, I'll get him. Another one. Okay. I think we're clear. Let's keep Nick, moving. I gotta say, uh, you're uh, pretty good at killing these things, huh? Well, huh. it's like anything. If you practice it enough, you're gonna get pretty good at it. Well, how long have you been doing it? Well, since the beginning, really. I didn't have a camp like yours. I had to survive from, well, from when everything went down. Well... Uh, well, I, I I honestly don't know what else to say about that, Nick. I'm just kind of taken aback by you, honestly. Well, when I think of outsiders, I usually, you know, the I just get the image of some super violent bandit or some marauder or something. And then you come along and you just basically shatter my preconceptions. Well, not everyone outside is bad, Monroe, but the outside world, it, it does change you. Having to survive out here with these things, it's not for everybody. That's, you know, it's one of the harder things to accept. It's that this is the world we live in now, so. Well, despite that, I kind of wish that, you know, we all deserved a little better. Yeah, me too. Oh. Look out, there's another one there. Here, why don't you take that one? You sure? Yeah, yeah, just 
Use your knife. All right. Don't let it get too close. Here goes. Huh. See? You're a natural. Yeah, that's kind of discouraging, honestly. Well, look, let's just focus on finding Barney for now. We can worry about Walker killing later. Yeah, well, speaking of Barney, what, if we do find the strangers, what do you suppose we do with them? Well, we'll have to see. If it's a small group, we might be able to take them out and free Barney ourselves, but if that's not an option, we still have one of their men. We can use him as a bargaining chip. Trade him for Barney. Well, I think that we should use that as our first option. Just well, between you and me. I'm kind of uncomfortable about killing still. We'll see, Monroe. Come on, let's keep moving. Whoa, 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 Monroe. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. I know about this ravine. Right. Passed it a million times. But the question is, uh, how are we going to get around it? I don't know. I mean, how do you usually get around these things? Seems I mean, like there's a lot of them around these parts. Usually I just climb. But, uh, I don't think we have the time for that. No, I don't either. Wait, what's that over there? Is that... is that a school bus? I... I think so. Hold on. I'm gonna take out one of the walkers on top. Alright, I think we're good. Let's try and get a closer look. If that school bus is stable, we might be able to use it to cross. Yeah, some sort of makeshift bridge. In fact, what's a school bus like that doing just wedged between the two cliff sides anyway? Well, you'd be surprised. School buses, they end up in weird places out here. Something about how many people they can fit it just seems like survivors really like to use them plus yeah but as a bridge like this seems kind of crazy well i'll admit monroe I, I haven't seen a school bus used as a bridge to cross a ravine yet oh geez there's more walkers stand back all right i can still hear a few of them inside the bus maybe one of us should head down there and try and clear them out all right well we should see if this is stable first. Okay. I don't want this crashing down on us. All right. Here I go. Just be careful, right. Monroe. No, don't worry. I don't feel it shifting or anything. Just... Just step lightly if you can. All right. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna try and get down on one of these things and... No, that won't work. Oh, the hatch is open. Hang on. Let me try and take out these walkers. I think there's one more down there. Let me clear it. Alright. It's all clear down here. I'm coming back up. Ugh. You alright in there? Yeah, I'm fine. All the walkers are dead, but... We should probably still get off this bus. We don't know yeah, how long it's going to hold. Get off this hunk of junk. What kind of a bridge is that supposed to be, anyway? Well, I mean, it works, it's... but I don't think it was intentional, that's for sure. Yeah, well, coming from an engineering standpoint, it's kind of crazy. Well, in any case, the truck can't be any farther from here, or at least where it came from. All right. Wait, Monroe, what's that up ahead? Uh, let me take a closer look. Looks it looks like... like some sort of... it's a campsite. Yeah. Wait a second, Monroe. Let's get back. Don't get too yeah. close. You think... you think that could be the stranger's camp? I wouldn't put it past it. It makes sense. I mean, if this is near the truck that we saw, they probably would have just used what was around them. Something tells me a group like this doesn't stay in one place for too long. Alright, so what's the game plan then? Well... We could try and go right in there and take a few of them out as we walk in, but you don't have a weapon, and I just don't know how many are going to be there. That's Maybe... not a good idea, Nick, for a bunch of reasons, really. Besides, you know, I mean, on top of us, you know, probably getting hurt from doing that, I don't think, I don't think I want to hurt any more people. Well, I've, I've had enough violence from these guys. 
After seeing what happened to Cassandra? After what they did? Alright, Monroe. Alright. Look. We'll do it your way. We'll take a stealthy approach through the woods. That way, we can scout out the camp before they see us coming. Alright. That seems like a better idea. Alright, come on. But if I... S I swear, though, if... Oh, I can't think like that, but if anything happened to Barney, Monroe... I'm sorry, but things might get ugly. Well, I hope it doesn't have to come to that, Nick. Cassandra wouldn't have wanted any of this. No. No, you're right. She wouldn't have. But she also didn't deserve what the strangers gave to her. So... Look. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. But I'm just telling you, be ready. Yeah, got it. Alright, I can see the camp. See anyone inside? No, it, it looks like it's empty. I don't see anybody. Their fire is yeah. out. Look, let's go get a closer look. Stay quiet, and if anything goes wrong, get behind me. Hmm. Do you see anything, Monroe? Nothing. This is kind of eerie. Gotta tell you. This tent's empty. It looks like this campfire. set up. This campfire is still warm, Nick. They just put it out. Hmm. Whoever left must have left in a hurry. But why? Alright, come on. Let's keep searching these tents. Make sure there's no one hiding in one of them. Uh, May as well check these chests. Yeah, good idea. Let me know what you find. Mostly empty water canteens. Dirty rag. Oh, I can use these. Some bolt cutters, yeah. Keep those. Alright, well, it looks like if this was the stranger's camp, they must have already left. I wonder where... Th what was that? Yeah, Did I heard that, that too. Oh. Yeah. Alright, be ready, Monroe. Things could get ugly. Monroe, did you hear that? Yeah, some sort of rustling noise. I think it came from behind oh. the tent. There it is again. I think it's... Whatever that structure back there is, do you see that? Yeah. Should we check it out? I don't know. It's, yeah, we probably should, but let me go first, Monroe. Alright. Just stay behind me. Oh, man. It sounds like... Could it be a walker? Wait. Barney? Barney! You're alright! Thanks! Thanks! <laughs> Gets me out of here! Alright, hold on. Uh, <laughs> my axe isn't gonna do it against these metal bars. Monroe, do you still have those bolt cutters? Yeah, yeah. These all things right. should be strong enough to break through. Oh. Yeah. Alright, get to see. work on that. I'll keep watch. Oh. Uh. Uh. Almost done. <sighs> there. Uh, your guy's just in time. Oh Barney, uh, here, take some water. Hang on, I, I've got some canteens. Take these uh, and... Do you need food? I'm just getting lightheaded, guys. Yeah, just just take it easy, Barney. Just eat, drink, all right? Let's just uh, calm down. Here, Monroe, we should probably make sure the rest of the camp is still secure. Can you stay here with Barney? Yeah, sure thing. All right, I'm going to take a quick sweep. All right, guys. The rest of the camp looks empty. I didn't see any sign of walkers either, so we should be safe. For now. Uh, yeah, I don't know where they all went, but all of a sudden, everyone just rans out. Well, the good thing is that you're alive, Barney. And, you know, you're feeling all right. Is there anything wrong with you? Any injuries? I was a little beat up, but, you know, I, I think so I'll be okay. I mean, Dr. Cassandra, though, that's a different story, Nick. Uh, we know. He's killed her, man. We know, Barney. We found her body not too far from the camp when we were looking oh, for you guys. No. She was so nice to me, Nick. Well, she was a doctor. I don't know why they would have killed her, but maybe they that made her a target. They were trying to get information out of her. They wanted information, and she wouldn't give it up, so they just kept beating her up. Information? What kind of information? Like, about Mousy's camp? Uh, well, they ask a few questions about that, but... Next, I got a bad news for you, man. What? What happened? So they were asking Dr. Cassandra about Mousy's camp, and she was not telling them anything. So they just got bored, and then they start 
he starts asking me questions and I didn't want to tell him anything I wasn't gonna say anything but next they weren't feeding me and I just have water and I couldn't sleep next I told him where the CDC is wait you what you told them about the CDC I know I'm so sorry I didn't want to say anything but next they're so mean look Barney it's all right the important thing is that you're alive. That's what matters. But if they know about the CDC, that's not good. We're going to have to get back there or get some sort of warning out to the others. Yeah, we need to warn them. Okay. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? Look, Monroe, is there any sort of... Well, I guess that's a silly question. You guys don't have a radio tower that we could use, do you? No, we don't have anything like that, but it seems like things are really starting to heat up, Nick. We should probably get back to the camp as soon as possible. Well, Barney still needs some time to rest up, I feel like. I mean, Barney, you need to keep eating and just keep yourself hydrated. Here, take some more of my okay. canteens. Look, Monroe, let's give Barney a chance to catch his breath. Why don't me and you scavenge the rest of this camp? There's probably some sort of material that we can use. We should probably take everything we can. We don't want to give these guys anything to come back to. All right, fair enough. All right. Barney, just hang out here. Okay, I'll rest up. All right, guys. The only thing I could find in that tent was some water and a few sodas. Nothing much in the form of supplies. What about you, Monroe? Anything on your end? There's nothing but empty food in here, Nick, but, uh, I did find a gun. A gun? What kind? I, I don't know, it's kinda old, and, you know, I'm not well versed in guns myself, but, uh, I don't know, Nick, should I take it? Hmm, you know what? It's an M1. Barney, you still have your pistol, right? Yes, I got my pistol. Okay, Monroe, I think you should take that. It's a bolt uh action, so it won't be too much for you to handle. And I've already got my rifle, so I don't need it. It'll be good for you to protect yourself. Especially if we don't know what we're going into. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure, Monroe. I think it's time you learned how to defend yourself. Well, alright. If these strangers are gonna point some guns at me, I guess I should, uh, well, point a gun back, right? Exactly. It's just better to be prepared. You never know walkers, people, out here. You just don't know what you're going to run into. Yeah. Alright, guys. Are we ready? Barney, are you good? Yep, I'm ready. Monroe's? Yeah, I'm good to go. Alright, guys. Come on. Let's head back over this way. From right, we should be able to head back the way we came, quickly stop at Mousy's camp, and then keep going towards the CDC. Make sure they're alright. So, I hope so, Snick. So, Barney... Uh, you said that there were lots of, uh, those strangers in that camp, right? Yeah, there was fools of them. Uh, and you said they just suddenly left? Yeah, I don't know why. It's in the morning, they got up in this real hurry and they're headed out. What uh, are you thinking, Monroe? Nick, I... I don't know, I'm just... I got a real bad feeling about this, Nick. Like, just something's not sitting right with me. Well... I, I feel like, you know, there's, there's a good chance they might have... They might have gone to Mousy's camp. Well, look, let's get back right now. I mean, we don't know that for sure, Monroe. At this point, we don't know where they're heading, but... I'm with you. Something about this just doesn't feel right. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, let's pick it up, guys. All right, we better hurry. Shh. You guys hear that? Yes. Oh, sounds like a lot of them. Hold on. Let me take a peek. Careful, Snick. I see one. Hold on, I'm gonna try and take him out. Careful. Oh, there's a lot of them. All right, Monroe, do you have that? Do you have that rifle? Yeah, yeah. All right. Take May as well shot. try to use it for the first time now. Hi, right. nice, Monroe's. Here, I'll take this guy with my axe. Another one? Oh, man. Nick, right. careful, around that tree. Right right around that tree. 
<sighs> Thanks, Barney. Man. Oh. Monroe, are there usually this many walkers around the camp? There's no reason that there's this many. I just... I don't understand. Again, Nick. Got a bad feeling. Well, who knows? Maybe it's just a horde. We don't know for sure. Hang on. Hmm. Let me take this guy out. Yeah, but Nick, I'm with Monroe. This doesn't feel right. Well, no. Something's wrong. Something's definitely... Wait. Do you guys hear that? Is that what a... Is this? Kind of sounds like a, an alarm or something. Sounds like, yeah, like a car alarm or a horn or something. That must be what's attracting all the walkers. Oh, no. All right, come on. We need to get to the camp now. Let's sneak around to the front gate. All right, so you lead, Nick. Careful, stays on your toes, guys. Whoa, Monroe, watch out. Oh. I, I got this one. Sounds like it's coming from that car. Monroe, I don't, can you try and disable that alarm? Yeah, yeah, but I don't understand. When we found this car, it was completely wrecked. I mean, someone had to have come back just to activate the alarm or something. Oh, no. You're, you're saying someone sabotages it, Monroe? It uh, seems like it. Guys, I think I know why. What? Look, through the what? fence. The camp the is camps. overrun with no. walkers. No, 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 this can't be happening. We we had so many security measures just put into place and and oh, no. no Mousies Mousy <sighs> Look no. guys 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 quiet down we don't want to draw too much attention to the walkers I just what? I'm sorry Nick I just can't believe this they the strangers I guess they just they were just systematically like you know tearing down our defenses bit by bit piece by piece Was it all leading up to this moment? I don't know Monroe I don't know but look, we can't get distracted by that. It's obvious that the strangers had more to their plan than they let on. But Mousy could still be in there, and Doug and Elliot. We don't know what's wrong. What's, you know, we don't know if they've survived or what. We have to get in there and check. How's we gonna get in with all those zombies there? Uh, look, they had to get in some way. It looks like this fence is held pretty firm, but there's got to be an opening somewhere. Probably the front gate. We'll sneak in through there, take out the walkers as we go, and sweep the buildings. If we can't find anyone, nice. we'll get out. And if we can, we'll find who we can and get them to safety. And if we're sees a stranger, let's let's take some and get some answers. Yeah, well, something tells me those guys are long gone. But mm. even even so, let's stand our toes. Nick. Is this really what it's like in the outside world? Well, Monroe, I wish I could tell you it was different, but the truth is, this is more normal to me than living inside of your walls. There are bad people out there everywhere, and apparently you guys managed to run into some with these strangers. But it's alright, we've been through worse. Both of us have. If there's anyone still inside, we're going to get them out and we're going to make sure that they're safe. I promise, Monroe. Well, you know what? I think I've just about lost my patience with all this. If we need to protect Elliot and Doug and... and Mousy, You know what? Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm just gonna mow down every walker it takes. Doesn't matter. We're gonna save him. Monroe, don't go off the hinges though. Your car be careful. You don't wanna get hurt. Just no. follow our lead, Monroe. We've done this before. We'll get your friends out. Well... Our friends. We owe them that much. All right. All right. I've trusted you this far, Nick. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Follow my lead. And stay All quiet. Right. We don't want the walkers to know which way we're coming in from. Okay. Heads up, guys. Ooh. All right, keep moving. Oh, no. All right. Oh, man, there's so many, Nick. 
Everyone lock and load. We're gonna have to take these guys out quick before they get too close. Oh, jeez. Oh. Reloading. Jeremy's got found ammo for this thing. Alright, oh. keep moving up, guys. Look. Once that herd fill once that herd thins up ahead, let's go ahead and move up through the fence. Hang on, one more. Alright, go. Move, move. Before more walkers find us. Alright. Go, let's go. Here, let's let's huddle up over here. Okay. Looks like there's a lot more walkers in here than I was anticipating. Nix, I don't know what kind of conditions anyone's gonna be in if these are alive. I know, but look, we still have to sweep the area. You never know what we're gonna- Please help me! Wait, Mousy? Get back! That yeah, that was Mousy's for sure, Nick. That was Please. Mousy's. Get back! Alright. Well we have to get to her quickly. Look, Monroe. You know the camp better than anybody. Can you sweep the camp and look for Doug or Elliot or anybody else who might still be here? Yeah, all right. I'll go look for survivors. You go and see if Mousy's okay. We're gonna find her. We're gonna make sure she's all right. Come on, Barney. Weapons ready. We don't have any time to waste. All right, so I'm with you, Nick. And Morose, be careful. Yeah, you too, you guys. All right, come on, guys. Let's go before more walkers figure out we're in here. Get back, please. Wait, uh, Barney, look over there. It's Mousy. It's Mousy's there. Get Come on. Oh, she's in troubles. Come on, hurry. Mousy! Guys, please help me! Hold on. Get away from the much. walkers. Mousy, backs you? up. All right. I, I can't. Watch out. Watch out, Barney. It's oh, too much. I'm reloading. I, I don't know what to do. This. Hang on, Barney. I've got him. I've got him. Oh. 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 Mousy. Oh, is there any more? Is that ever, is not all of them? I think we're good around here. Gosh, okay. they're everywhere though. They're all over the camp. What happened? Uh, oh God. Well, the camp was attacked by the strangers and there was an alarm set off and it attracted so many wee walkers. Uh, wait, just... wait, calm down, calm down. The strangers, they came here? Yes, they came here. They came here and attacked the camp, okay? I have no idea where anyone is, what's going on, or there was just so many of them. I didn't... Okay, Mousy, oh Mousy, gosh. calm down, calm down. Barney, do you have any water? Or food? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, Mousy has this canteens. Did you, thank you. D Look, did you see anyone? Did you? Monroe's searching for the others now. He came in with us. Okay. There's a lot wonder, of walkers. Are there any more of the strangers? Well, not that we've seen, but what about the guy that we have oh. held up in the basement? Oh, God, no. He, um... Ugh. What, Mousy? He what happened? What? He escaped? He, he was on my watch. I, I I accept the responsibility of that. I, I turned my back for one second. One second, I swear. And okay, he attacked look, me. The important thing is that you're all right. And we're going to find the others, too. I'm sure Monroe's <laughs> already found Doug and Elliot. We just need this to make sure... This camp was a sanctuary. Well... Ooh, what good is it? These strangers have attacked. The place is burning to the ground. Look, Mousy, I know it's a lot to deal with right now, but this is just the way things are. We're going to have to make do, and we're going to have to get out of here, all right? I need you to be calm for that. We need to find out where Elliot is, where Doug is, and make sure that Monroe's all right as well. Do you think okay. you can make it back to the main camp? Yeah, I think I can. All right, here. Take my axe. It's going to do a lot better than this sword will, or the that stick will for you. I still have my bolt cutters. I can oh. do some damage. Alright. Well, those will work. Come oh, on. It's mousy. Okay. Barney, let's take the lead. Mousy, All right. just watch out behind us. Just make sure no walkers sneak up behind us and we should I'll be fine. I'll cover your backside. I got you. Come on, Barney. Let's go. Don't worry, guys. We'll figure this out. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty bad, Mousy. But it looks like... God. Oh! Whoa! Oh, Elliot! Oh my Elliot. gosh! Where have you guys been? Are oh. you okay? We just got yeah. Mousy down from... Well, she was cornered by a few walkers over by the hay bales. What about you? you we were are... just searching for you. You guys are alright, though. Yeah, yeah we're... we're fine. It's just a little shaken. Yeah, Where's well, Monroe? Uh, Doug... Monroe and I, we had a we have a bit of a rough tumble, but thankfully we've secured the premises. The gate, the gate is 100%. But they're back at some of the 
Camp's not, you know, getting taken care of. Uh, get him remedied the best that they can. <laughs> what good is a fixed fence if the entire place is burning down? Well, I mean, walkers never made life much easier, you know, if you know what I mean. Nice bulk cutters, by the way. I'm assuming the walkers don't like them that much. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I, I may have taken these from one of the tool chests. Just d don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, well, what are you guys up to now? Well... I guess now it's time to head towards the CDC. That is, if you guys want to come with us. Um, um I don't know. Really? I, I think there's some things I've got to take care yeah. of first. I've got... What she's saying is we got to respectfully decline. Because there are other things that need to be tended to, if you understand. Well, as long as My you'll entire be okay. camp is destroyed and it... <laughs> I just can't believe this. This is a sanctuary we've been working on oh, for years. Oh, don't worry about it. They're gonna get what's coming to them. You keep that in mind now. They, they kill my daughter. They d kill the people we care about. And No, we've, we've got something we've got to do first. So you guys will go after the strangers then? Try and get revenge for Cassandra and for Ophelia? Oh, I don't think there's much try, well, if that makes sense. Listen, we'll find them all right. If that's what you guys want to do, we'll get what's coming to them. I have to respect that, but I just want to warn you the outside world, it's like this. It's not anything like the camp that you guys were living in. I think now you guys seem to have an understanding of that, but. I think well... somewhere deep down inside, I kind of always knew that something like this could happen. You got to get adjusted somehow. And no one's better just going to leave this place alone. Well, whatever you guys do, just be safe, all right? Once things yep. settle down in the CDC, well, I'm not sure if we'll ever meet again, but just if you need help, you know where to find us. Thank you for everything you've helped me with, and uh, we'll be parting ways now. I don't want to get too sentimental with the goodbyes. Well, Elliot, you always were one for sentimental moments, but I'm sure we'll meet again, guys. I mean... We have to, at some point. Just Maybe. Just take care of yourselves, all right? And say goodbye to Doug and Monroe for us. We don't have any time to waste. We should probably be heading out. Yeah, we, uh, we've got some tracking to do. Well, we farewell, wanna... my friends. All right, wise, come on, wise. Barney. Let's go. We don't have any time to lose. Next, do you think there's going to already be bees there? I don't know, Barney. I don't know. Hey, you guys, wait up a sec. Huh? Manzaral? Yeah, Nick, Bonnie. Uh, okay, good. Caught you guys before you left, but, uh, well, I'll be blunt. I kind of want to tag along with you guys. Tag along with us? What about your group? What about Mousy? Yeah, it's going to be dangerous, Manzaral. Well, I mean, well, the way I see it, you know, it's, I got nothing left to lose, guys. You know, our little slice of paradise is just completely gone. Time I faced the music. It's time I actually, you know, steeled myself and, well, faced the outside world. Mousy and the gang can handle themselves. They have Doug. Well, um, hmm? if you're sure, Monroe, of course. We could always use someone like you at the CDC. Yeah, I'd love to have you tags along, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm positive about this, guys. I'm sure I can find some way to help out at the CDC. Hey, maybe I can set up an electrical fence, yeah? Well, I mean, we've definitely got generators, and I mean, it never hurts to have someone who knows how to work them. Yeah, Monroe, you can tag along. Did you already let Mousy and Doug know? Yeah, yeah, I made my peace with those guys. I don't think they'll be needing me anyway. Yeah, it seems like, well, seems like they're gonna be spending a lot of time tracking down whoever it is whatever it is the strangers are a part of it's so odd they completely disappeared after destroying this camp i'm not even sure what they wanted well if i've learned anything from this nick some people just want to watch the world burn i guess well uh, the only thing we can do is try and stop them anyway monroe it'll be great to have you on the team welcome aboard <laughs> glad to hear it 
Yes, Monroe is coming too. <laughs> All right, guys, enough celebration. Let's keep moving. We want to make good ground, and I want to get back to the CDC before nightfall, if possible. Yeah, I was with you, Nick. Who knows what's going to be happening there? We got to be the strangers there if they're headed there. Well, something tells me they already are, but hopefully, hopefully we can get there before they try anything. We just have to hope that and just hope for the best, I guess. Come on, let's go. All right, lead the way, you guys. No time to waste. What the? Walkers, 12 o'clock! Oh, it's your guys, Monroe's Nick. I can't believe we made it out of there, man. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I mean, this tent went up in flames pretty quick. Almost too quick. I wonder if Mousy was right about what she said with the strangers. About them following us the entire time? Uh, <laughs> she might have been right, Nick. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. How did we not see this that night? Well... I guess it was kind of in a hurry, but I thought for sure I would have noticed something like this. Barney, have you seen this at all? In the camp no. or anywhere around where the strangers were holding you? There had that is when the strangers took me to prison. Okay. Well. Next, what did I do? I told them where CDC is. Everyone's going to get hurt there. They're going to attack the CDC. Look. It's because of me, too. I didn't... Barney, I just didn't Barney. Want to become another walker again. Barney, calm down. Look, we don't know that for sure, all right? You just need to... Nix, we don't know for sure. Look right here. Looks right here. Well, it's gonna go attack it. There's still a chance we can beat them there. Even if we don't beat them to the city, I doubt they'll try something right away. I mean, they can't be that reckless. Uh, Nix, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's kidnapped me. There's kills the doctor. Oh, look, Barney. Let's just... We have to get there as quickly as possible, guys. Come on. Let's just pick up the pace. Okay, as quick as possible, guys. I can't let everyone down. All right, come on, guys. Don't worry about it, Barney. We can still fix this. All right? Uh, okay, Moreau. Professor, you're crazy! You have to come with us! We stick together! That's always the plan! We aren't leaving you! Boys, boys, listen to me! Whoever is outside most likely knows what we do inside the CDC. If the cure were to fall into the wrong hands, the results would be catastrophic! We, they would essentially control the world. So we'll fight! That's what we always do! If we die, we die! The care is far more important than any of us are. Look, I'm trusting you you three to take this research to get it to safety. And then what? Do what you do best. Survive. The fate of the world is literally in your backpacks. Don't try to contact us. It'll be too risky if anybody else has access to the CDC radios. Scan all frequencies at sundown. We'll get a message to you when the things are safe. I don't know. You're just gonna have to trust me. Now, here. Take this. Shelby is, uh, unfortunately too sick to travel. You three need to leave before it's too late. Please! You should have gone with them! And miss all the fun? Major, have you, uh, you know, found the others? Professor X has everybody else locked inside the lab. They should be safe in there. For now, anyway. Any idea who the heck wants inside so badly? Could it be Ross? It's hard to say. I can't imagine where Ross would have found an army so fast. Besides, this is too disorganized to be part of Ross's plan. 
whoever is attacking us is at the gate. I don't know how much longer Red's army will last. We need to go help them. That's suicide. We'll never make it out the front door. Are you sure there isn't any other wine major? Look, I'm not asking you three to come with me. If you come, you're almost certainly going to die. But we are the only help they have. If you stay here, Red's army will die. They risked their lives for us. Now it's our chance to do the same. Well, you heard the man. Let's go keep this place safe. <laughs>